Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast. After our edition, we're joined with a full panel of ladies. Let's get it. Let's get into it. Yeah. All the night. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me to leave? Serious. Go. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not just what seems. I must believe in something, so I'll make myself believe it. It's time. Hey, what's up, back. guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. Hope you guys are having a great Monday night. We did a great show earlier on five ways to not be broke, and we gave you guys a bunch Listen, of man, other tips in there. If you're broke in 2021, man, something's wrong with you, bro. Yeah, seriously. For real, come on, man. Seriously. Um, okay, so quick announcements, guys. First and foremost, patreon.com slash freshfit, where you guys can get the behind-the-scenes content that you can't see anywhere else. You know, the Frank Castles, the, uh, Zoom the calls. questions, Zoom calls. We do one weekly Zoom call. We actually just wrapped up a Zoom call earlier with some of our higher-tier patrons. And uh, yeah, guys, we discuss everything from making money to social media to getting girls to getting in shape to just not being a loser dude in general, improving <laughs> yourself as a man. Okay, so check us out over there at patreon.com slash freshfit. Also, we're on Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Every single platform you listen to podcasts, we are there, even the smaller ones like, uh, you know, Acast or whatever the hell it's called, CastBox. Everywhere. So just make sure you click the anchor link below, and that will help us, uh, will help you find us on whatever platform you like to listen to. Just make sure you wear headphones because... Uh, we have a lot of people out there that say a whole bunch of a. Uh, How dare you? Because anytime you say the truth about men and women, people get pissed off. So make sure you wear headphones when you listen to us out there. Also, FresherPodcastStore.com. Where you guys can get the merchandise. You get the hoodies. Hoodies. You get the I feel like t-shirts. Or today, I'm wearing the. Oh, who or, hurt you? Who hurt, hurt you? you t-shirt. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Which I hear that all the time. Very I'll say popular. something like, men and women are very different. Oh, who hurt you? Okay. We have to make it into a shirt. So uh, check us out over there, guys, at FreshFitPodcastStore.com. We got all the links down below. Also, Fresh has a vlog channel. Guys, for behind the scenes of our lives, me, Chris, Trey, and Myron, check it out. You get to see when we go on boats. Let me go with the girls. It's lit, man. Check it out. The vlog channel. And then also... Uh, we're on Twitch on twitch.tv slash fresh red podcast. So if you guys want to see uh, some of the girls here in 1080p for real, the power of these cameras, go ahead and open up another tab, twitch.tv slash fresh and fit podcast. And then also, Chris is on Twitch as well. Speaking of 1080p, find me on Twitch on Aaron Poxon. I will do a post show stream with the ladies. So tune in on that. And later, I will be streaming Valorant. So let's get it. Okay. Awesome. Fair enough. Uh, yes. I don't even know what Valorant is, but what it is sound, that? It sounds what? gay. It's yeah. a cool what no, it's a cool ass game, y'all. Don't listen to them. Oh, for real? Gamers unite, all right. Okay. Hey, right. Fair enough. All right. Uh she probably sucks anyway, so that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Not Are you good at the game? Right, Are right. you good? Oh, you suck? No, okay. He right, he What's right. new? A girl on Twitch. Of course she sucks at the game. But uh <laughs> I, I could already I could already people uh, feminists in the in the comments like, Oh god How dare you So uh and then, uh, How dare you? And then uh, also guys for any video topics, hit up our uh audio engineer slash YouTube strategist Trey Talk Sports. And also, guys, as you come in, because I already see that we're trying to, we're starting to fly up in viewers, like the video, man. And then, ladies that want to come on the show. Yes, DM me on Aaron C. Poxon. Make sure your page is not private. And if you're flying in from some other state to uh, Miami and you got a man or a husband or whatever you got, uh, bring them with you because we don't want any issues, okay? And um, if anything, um, book early in advance. Not like, oh, three months down the line and you're, okay? So make sure you hit me up and we go from there. Yo, nigga, yeah. say w whatever you got. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you got. Yeah. Whatever you got. Yeah, bring on. your situation, shit, whatever the f whatever it is. Entanglements, man. whatever. And then also, guys, we have a new Instagram. It's Fresh Fit, uh, Fresh and Fit three oh five. Fresh and Fit three oh five is a new Instagram. We got hacked, but we back. And yeah. uh, and then me and Fresh obviously have our regular Instagrams. Unplug Fit, Fresh Prince CEO. So check us out over there, man. Fresh we, and Fit 305. We should be bringing back our name as well soon. Um, Fresh Fit Podcast. So we're going yeah. on that right now. Yeah, so don't worry. We're going to have that here soon. And then for the girls, we have a new Instagram for the ladies. It's Fresh Fit Podcast Girls. So if you guys want to go there, find the girls' Instagram, stalk them, send dick pics and all that other stuff. There you <laughs> go. Feel free to go over there. Uh, and then all their Instagrams are also below in the description box as well. So uh, yeah, feel free to check them out. So and then uh, I guess um, Super Chats. and then Actually, no. Or introduce ladies first. Yeah, ladies okay. first. Okay. I got you. I know what you guys want. 
So we're going to have the lovely lady stand. Me and Fresh are going to get the hell out the way so you guys can see what's going on here. And uh, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, thank me later, assholes. Cool. <laughs> All right. Place that up and yeah. uh, let me see. Let's uh, take a pose. A little faster, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Ladies, don't the market for them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the Monko. Did you guys give a twirl or something? Like, goddamn, like, goddamn. It's like I know it's money and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This expensive yeah, yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expensive yeah, content yeah, yeah. right here. Hundred thousand views. Check out the like, OnlyFans, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies, right, cool. right, good. All right, uh, here you go. And Mars, sure. please spam people talking shit. Um, too much, you know, shit in the chat, you know. So. All right, so uh, cool. Shout out to the mods, by the way, Merch Gang, Cherry Yeah, Gang. I mean, they, they everyone talks smack. They Those make fun squad. of my shorts all the time. So anyway, uh, with that hey, said, okay, so, ladies, so let's introduce the ladies. Give us your name, your age, your social security number, <laughs> where you live at. <laughs> Jesus. No, but your name, age, what you do for a living, and your current dating status. And we'll start right here. Hey, so my name is Rosie. Um, I live in New York. I used to live in actually Miami. Um, what's my status is, I don't know. I <laughs> Uh, that's who I am. What do you want to know about me? Any questions? And then, uh, lastly, your age? I am 26. Cool. All right, welcome. All right, my name sucks. My name is Nikki. I'm 20. I'm from Miami for right now. And I'm a model for a living. Yeah. Cool. And, uh, and who are your status? friends? Sorry. Say one more time. Dating status? Oh, I'm a single right now. Chris. <laughs> and, uh, who are your friends you brought with you? My friend Giovanna, she's no, my no, no. I mean, model. like the two in front of you. <laughs> no, um, never mind. He, he's talking about the girls. Oh. <laughs> I'm also a natural blonde, so that's a fun fact. Okay, okay, cool. Makes sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that one flew over her head, Chris. Uh, oh, you might yeah. want to be a little bit more direct. So much press. <laughs> okay. I'm not lie. So, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. <clears throat> Hi guys, I'm Batty. Batty OG. Nice to meet y'all. Welcome Ladies. back. Y'all look welcome so back, welcome back. All right, so I am 25, almost 26. Y'all, can you believe it? Um, I'm currently single, but I'm also looking for my third boyfriend for the week. All right. What? Um, third? Yeah, I, I dumped like four of them already. This week. God yeah, we're, lo we're looking for a couple more to replace the ones that we lost. Sugar Daddy Follow applications guys. come in. <laughs> Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't really do like nine to fives. I do a lot of promoting and some modeling jobs. I'm an artist. I make music, produce, all that. That's so, how I make my money. Yeah. That's a lot. Radio Fair G. enough. All right. Appreciate that. Hey, hi, everyone. My name is Dahlia. I'm 22. Um, my current occupation right now is, um, well, I'm active duty military. And um, as for my relationship status, it's, it's kind of it's complicated. All right, so she fucks someone in the barracks. Fair enough. Okay, I get it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. 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 No, uh, what, what, uh, what branch? I'm a, I'm a Marine. Oh, okay. Oh, oh cool. shit. Okay. All right. So thank she, you for your service. Yeah, thanks for your service. Uh, how long have you, you been up? in? Uh, I'm about to hit four years in okay. November. So you, and, That's you're, and you're out? Uh, no, I got one more year left. I'm, I'm on a five-year contract. Five-year? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So complicated. Complicated, yeah. Okay, because I already know some people are going to probably try to slide in DM. So should they just say like... Mm -hmm. Hello, complicated. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I so my husband is deployed, but oh, romantically shit. we aren't together. Legally, we're still together, so that's why it's kind of complicated. Oh, okay, Makes okay, sense. okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So married but single, but like kind. Okay, yeah, that yeah, is complicated. It's very complicated. <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough. Well, guys, uh, <laughs> shoot your shot at your own peril. Okay, <laughs> and then, uh, shot, nigga. Yeah, Hi. yeah. I'm Angel <laughs> Love, the singer. Um, I'm an Instagram model. I'm a YouTuber. I'm just like a a social media influencer. Not a social media influencer. What do you call that? I'm an influencer, mm -hmm. basically. And mm -hmm. I'm an IG model. And yeah, I like to say, Y'all can never be angel. Oh. That was a little bad, but... <laughs> that was lovely. <laughs> that was lovely. Okay. <laughs> All right. I see something there. Beautiful. Fair enough. Okay. And then your current dating status? Oh, yeah, I do have a boyfriend. He lives in Canada. Um, Darn it. King Long distance. Kenzo, yeah. that's my boo. That's my baby daddy. Oh, you know he said, yo, she, she said his name, bro. Uh, King Kenzo. Okay. I, oh. All right. I'm going to say his it's name. Official. That's my boyfriend. I need I need the men out there to Why know. Why are you looking at I'm me? I'm, I'm, so, I'm like, okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello, you funny. What? He played his bat like a month later. He's like, 
Fuck this nigga. Nah. <laughs> I'm single. Nah, I've been I've been with him for like over a year. So oh, oh. I'm not. God bless you. Him. God right, cool. bless you. Oh, and no, and he's in Canada, like for work, or he's in Canada. I was in Canada, and I just came here two weeks ago. And you know, oh, you're Canadian too. No, I was born in Miami, Florida, but I came to Canada when I was five. Lived there for 14 years. Now I came back two weeks ago. So okay, yeah. Oh, okay. So cool. and then is he Canadian himself or is he? He was born in Canada. Yeah. Okay, hey, but you're American. I'm American. Okay. Cool. All right. Fair enough. All right. All right. I give it one month. Welcome. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, all right. No, congratulations on your relationship, though. All right. Thank you. One month. Yo, y'all know what the fuck going on? I'm sorry, oh, I had shit. to say it. My <laughs> name is Jane Zoe. Um, I'm an artist. I, I'm 20 something. Um, 20 something? Yeah. What? I own a modeling. 20, 20 something. 29? My business. I own. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah, yeah. Wait, we gotta know. We gotta know. <laughs> Why? We gotta know. Uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta answer the question, man. Yeah, uh, you gotta. What, what, uh, what is the number? <laughs> yeah. 28. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Right, cool, man. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> You're only like two years away from retirement. No biggie. You know what I'm saying? Um, I own a modeling agency for work. I also do custom shirts like the ones you guys are wearing for different companies. Nice. Um, yeah, I also work at the Joint in Miami. It's like a new nice. weed lounge in Winwood. Mm -hmm. The Joint in Miami. Yeah, it's the smoke lit. place. It's lit. Yes. Damn. It's lit. Um, I went there one time, bro. I felt so weird. Why? It's a bunch of hood diggers in there too, bro. No, it's like hippies. Ooh. Well, you can't. Maybe you came on an event night. Yeah, probably. Because they have pop up shops <laughs> with like weed and shit. Bro, this, this girl's like, pull up. I'm like, yo, never again, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, like that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Yeah, yeah. no, I get lit. Um, I'm single, unfortunately. Unfortunately. It's hard out here for a pimp. I'm not a single type of girl. I don't have time for this. But yeah, single. I'm no sure someone in the chat wants you. Here. No thanks. Did you break up with your last boyfriend? Who did, did of you course. Break up with you? Okay, so I break up with all of them. So would it be fair to say that it's your fault that you're single then? Um, oh. it's not a fault, but Miami sucks. Like the dating pool here is literally disgusting. Okay, okay. it has coronavirus. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, go no further. Really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll continue on. We'll continue. Oh my God. Last but not least. All right, my name is Giovanna. I'm 34. It's probably the oldest one in the group. Uh oh. <laughs> I am originally from Montenegro. I lived in New York for 10 years and I just moved to Miami. And after seven years in a relationship, I'm single now. Congrats. Congratulations. Hey. So hold on, hold on. Did you, did you become single then move to Miami or were you single prior to? I became single and moved to Miami. That's, good choice. <laughs> that makes That's sense. what happens good all choice. the time. <laughs> all right, cool. So, uh, My, super chat. Wait, wait, are we gonna pass over her shirt? What does it say? <laughs> Naughty girl. Oh yeah! Shout out to Naughty Girl LA. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. So we got uh, Michael Kinonis. Um, F and F are conservative women easier to date? Um, bro, th that's a whole other that's, that's, a, a, whole that's a topic, topic of another bro. conversation, oh, my friend. That's, that's Zachary Price, five bucks. This super chat cost me five dollars. Your like is free. Should be juicy tonight. Looking at the panel of ladies tonight. Okay, fair enough. There you go. And then we got uh, one, 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 five. All Damn from it. Australia. Thirty bucks. Thank right. you so much. Thirty nine nine. Oh, Fresh God. ready. Fresh ready. Oh man, you guys are fucked up, bro. <laughs> Damn. Okay, you know what? I got this. I got this. Just for y'all, man. Finesse is here. All right. Fresh ready. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. <laughs> Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. <laughs> Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Jesus oh, Christ. Shit. Oh, that shit, nigga. Oh, nigga. Oh, what are you going to say now, nigga? Oh, nigga. Yeah, we out here, man. Working on it, man. Chris, how about you now, nigga? <laughs> yeah, yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Chris, read it. Uh, Chris, shake it. Now I'm good, man. Yeah, yeah. Chris sweating right now. Okay. Uh, Mike the Great, 20 bucks. Where do you where do you rather be watched? Switch or YouTube? Uh, bro, open up two, two bro, tabs. Two, Watch us on both. Both, both, yeah, bro, both. bro. Both Switch of them. And, YouTube. and then uh, King Zadea, I'm a private chef from Georgia. Do you guys need a personal private chef? Shout out to FNF yes, family. Yes, I need a chef, bro. Dude, mm -hmm. pull up to my... It's a girl or a guy? <laughs> I think that's a dude, bro. Oh. It's King. Bro, I need I need a chef, bro. Like, hook it up, bro. I think it didn't you didn't you have that girl though? I think Never it's mind. a girl in there. Never mind. She was in a oh wait. Okay, okay yeah. yeah. Uh yeah, yeah so DM mind. me. Yeah. Fresh Prince CEO on Instagram, man. I need a chef for real though. Alright, the three kings. Sometimes I think Miami area area code should have been three oh four instead of three oh five. No, he didn't. That's Hashtag, funny. Uh, she belongs to the street. I got you. S slippery beats. The Latina in the gray oh, is hella oh. thick. Nothing but cheeks. What's the Instagram? Um, underscore I am Rosie Rosales. Uh -huh. You, you want to speak into the mic so they actually can hear you? 
So underscore I am Rosie Rosales. All right, cool. There you go. Ooh. She came late, by right. the way, guys, just so you know, so she's very punctual as well. <laughs> I <had a> Rose. <laughs> Oddly Noel. Bless up fresh and fit and like the damn video. Bumba Clot Ninja Watch. Bumba Clot in a Ross Clot, boy. Please cool. like the video. 20 bucks. Ladies, would you rather have a career or a husband? Oh, shit. Ooh, career. 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 Is that universal? Is that unanimous. Universal uh, husband. career? Husband. Oh, okay. Yeah. One with I the husband. I've accepted the fact that <laughs> okay. I'm a dialogue. I'll get a wife. <laughs> You'd rather have a husband? Oh, Lord. Okay, so one, yeah. girl, one girl that wants a husband, the rest want a career. Okay. No, Very she, she wants a wife. <laughs> in a career. Are you into girls? More than guys? Both. both. Oh, no, just both. Oh, both. Mm -hmm. mm, Do you prefer women or men? I have no preference, actually. Wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If you had to pick one gender for the rest of your life Who to settle be? down with, would it be a man or a woman? You can't even ask us. That looks biphobic. I guess man. No surprise. <laughs> wait, wait. Biphobic? <laughs> what is that? Yeah, like, can you like discriminatory against bi people? Oh, no, I'm not discriminating. No, I'm we're just saying like... But it's like supposed to be 50-50, but it's all good. It ain't. It ain't. <sighs> it's different for everyone. It's a spectrum. The world's <laughs> over, brother. <laughs> it's oh over. Gosh. I'm loving it. Yeah, I mean, it's not biphobic. It's just like, what if you had to pick one gender that you're going to procreate for the rest of your life with? Well, technically, you can't even procreate <laughs> with women, but if you had to pick one, who would it be? And you, Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's it because we're doing uh, we're gathering information. We like to ask women that are bisexual. If you had to pick one, who would it be? And overwhelmingly, it's men. I wonder why. Uh, Easier to do with, the dick. probably. Dick. Yeah, Four, I mean that too, but yeah, but it's the much dick. less stress. It's the power struggle. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We'll see. That, okay, yeah, we'll we'll get into that later <laughs> on. Okay, I had my first cold approach this past weekend. Use everything that this. I think what he means. Everything you guys, you guys. Have taught me. So I have a date. Uh, now I have a date this Saturday. Just want to say I appreciate you guys and what you're doing for me. Awesome, brother. Hey, man, you, man. Job, man. Good job, bro. Man. Yeah, you guys thought we were kidding around when we say we're professional Remember, womanizers. Don't talk a lot. Let her talk. Do most of the talking, bro, and enjoy the date. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't talk yourself out of the box. Because a lot of guys, you say too much. And anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of womanese. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Five bucks from, uh, or no. Uh, where are we at, Chris? Mm, one second. Oh shit! This nigga sleep. Yeah, <laughs> you go December. Bucks. Okay. <laughs> does the girl in the middle know she got called a toy soldier the other night, Brazy? Uh, no, she does not. But uh, we kicked that girl off the show. So no oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. Had a, we had a disrespectful girl on the show the other night. So yeah. we kicked oh, her off. Okay. She made some comments about the military that we didn't like. Uh, Ramiro oh, Javier, rate me one. <laughs> Where were you on that panel? God damn it! You should have been here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. Put him hell up. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'll be here more often. Uh, rate me one out of ten. Took a girl out for tacos on Taco Tuesday. Spent fifteen dollars. Smash that same night. Hey. Hey, city boys, we up. Good job. <laughs> wait, <laughs> one out of ten? How can we rate? Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. That's to rate Tuesday. him? I don't know. But he 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 won, so it don't matter. It's uh, Fazian, or Fazi... Fazi... Lan? Okay. Lan? You got a boyfriend and you embarrass him dressing like that. SMH, liberated women, uh, modern, modern women uh, at their finest gentlemen. First like the, the dang video. You, oh, go ahead. I know. All, oh, shit. My husband has a blessed... Okay, I call him my husband because we're gonna yeah, get go married ahead. one day. But <laughs> he has a blessed wife with a nice body, so like he doesn't mind me dressing like this. Like if you have <laughs> nice curves, you better show it off, you know. Okay. If you can't handle that, bitch, it really don't doesn't date mind. Them. Okay. You have anything else to say? <laughs> That's all I gotta say is I look good and I'm gonna show it off. All right, so fuck but you, I'm, bro. You know. <laughs> That's what she's saying. <laughs> Mar- yeah, I'm gonna be a weird though. And then we got <laughs> Philip with her. Five bucks. Choo, choo. All right. Choo, choo. And then DL Saint with the big 100 super, super chat. Respect to the Marine. Get some. Chat, be careful with her. She can shoot. Respect to the Fresh Fit Fam trade. Chris Myron and Fresh was good. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you, brother. And then uh, we're finishing up here. Rounding third here. Steven Valdez. Girl next to Fresh and Fresh are certified. Mamacitas. Let's meet up. Turn around and let's make some magic. Oh, no. God. What the fuck? <laughs> and then uh, 10 bucks. Josh Ortega. What up, Fresh Fit Fam? Ladies, how many times does I'm not in the mood become a valid excuse for your man to look for better options? Tell Barracks Bunny adultery can F up your military career. Oh, shit. You got a response for that? Uh, I mean, which, which part? The, the question or what he's, what he's saying to me? I'm not sure. Yeah, because I think, I think y'all are separated technically, right? Techni- At this point. Technically you separated. Not, not legally, but... Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So they're separated, bro. So, I mean, mm. it is what it is. They just got to do the paperwork. Which that's probably gonna be tricky because y'all both in the military and all that other it, stuff. It shouldn't be too tricky right now. The only reason why it's tricky is because he's in a whole different country and he's he's not physically here to like sign paperwork, go to the courthouse, uh, all that okay. shit. So, yeah, that's, that's what makes it okay. Mm-hmm. All right, fair enough. Uh, Corday, just checking out uh, in with y'all, Fresh Fit Fam. Get the likes up, y'all. Yeah, guys, please like Thanks, the video. Bro. And then we're gonna move the two more. Uh, let's see here. 
Uh, Oddly Noel, shout out to my sister in the MC. Good luck on getting out. Make sure you document everything and hit that VA, okay? Oh, hell yeah. Don't worry about it. And then D-Nice, five bucks. (laughs) Fresh as the captain now after reading that tongue twister, keep proving them wrong. (laughs) Big facts, bro. (laughs) Gotcha. You prefer head or brains? Um, I have no preference. Five bucks. And that's from JC. Oh, okay. (laughs) Interesting. All right. So, Fresh, uh, first question. We got 2,500 plus you guys in here. So, please like like the video. video. Because I already know it's going to keep going up. Yeah, from here on out to up. up. Okay, cool. So, ladies. Some of, some of you have been here for a period of time longer than others, but what is your experience experience dating here in Miami? Mm. And we'll start right here. Dating? Yeah. Or so, smash guys casually, whatever you want to call it. I'll be really honest. I've only been here for three months, and I've been working a lot. I haven't had a lot of chances to go on dates. None at all? Come on so, now. Okay. Oh, okay. But you've been here for three months. You've only been on two dates? Yep. How was that? Girl's busy. Work. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. I just, got, I just got a bald spot. No, no big deal. Oh, dear. oh Lord. All right. So, oh, so she's only been... So she's only been... On, uh, so she's, oh, yeah. That means uh, basically... Stop the cap. Stop okay. the cap. <laughs> Wait. Well, no. We didn't include, like, um, Netflix and chill, though. Oh, yeah. Uh-uh. And strictly oh, right. look at that. Look at that. Now it changes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But I'm curious though, like, those two days, right? How'd they go? Was it good? Was it bad? They were okay. They were okay? Yeah. Did anything come from it or no? No. No? So would you say, like, dating in, Mi- in Miami is, like, uh, fun, boring? Like, the guys you've been with are boring? Like, like what'd you say? One was fun. The other one was boring. Okay, tell me why it was fun and why it was boring. I don't know. I guess I was excited to get to know him a little better. Mm-hmm. So it was fun. The other one just, I, it didn't it didn't live up to my standards, you know, at all. Did anyone get a second date or no? No. Damn. So it was fun. You said, fuck that shit. Boring. Fuck that shit. Well, I, I travel a lot, so I'm kind of well, like back and forth between Miami, L.A., New York. Well, that makes oh. it easier, right? Uh, okay. Easy. I mean, I mean, <laughs> it makes it or? harder to schedule these dates, you know. Mm. Okay. Is is that like because of work that you travel so much? Yeah. Okay. So so okay. So you went on two dates. Like, what was it? Dinner dates or something like that, or dinner? Mm. They fucked up already. Yeah, they fucked up already. And then so interesting. So you went on two dinner dates. Those are what you consider dates. But you've obviously like met up with guys prior to that, right? Like, come on. A girl's got to get some deep, right? Like, come on. Tender hookups. No, I didn't. One I of them lives in my building, so yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Vibrators oh, okay. are a thing. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll continue on. Move on, on smartly. <laughs> yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> There's Miss two. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Jane Doe. This one even says cap. Uh, she, got lot, she got a lot to say already now. No, like, honestly. <laughs> uh, you said dating in my It's traumatic. Um, very ghetto. I do not recommend <laughs> Um, <laughs> negative two stars. I really want to move. Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's it's really bad here. Like the guys have no chivalry. They just want to be like, "You want to smoke, bitch? I'm already high. I don't want to <laughs> smoke with you." But like, don't you work at a place that sells? Y- exactly. Um, don't want to smoke and chill with you. Like, <sighs> it's just bad, man. Like, I mean, Jesus. if we met at a bookstore, I might say, "Hey, you want to chill and read?" So if I met we you at like a weed spot, wouldn't I? <laughs> oh yeah, that <laughs> niggas just uncreative. Like it's just but you so work bad. at a weed spot, dog, don't you? <laughs> like <laughs> maybe you think yeah, that's funny. but so I'm wouldn't not... it be like pro- like make sense for him to say you want to smoke and chill because you guys have <laughs> no, it that the same never interest? makes sense. I feel like that Much. is like fuck. That equals fuck. Okay. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. That's equal as fuck. Do you want to smoke and chill with me? No, I do not. That's what niggas want to do. That's what the chill That's means. fine. So if That's I was hey, to do. wait, so question. It sounds like a service. If I was in the library, can I ask you to smoke? Like, hey, that, what do you want to wear if I smoke? That'll be better? Mm, no. Oh, On okay. no occasion. <laughs> so I want to, like, the first time I'm talking to you, I don't want to chill and smoke with you. So you want a proper date, like, go out, yes. restaurant, drink. Not even a restaurant. Do some adventure shit. Like, be different. Hike. Like, we finna go rock climbing. In. Let's go do go kart. Swim Let's in Miami to Target and dress like we Ooh, work there and fuck ski. with people. Like I don't know, no, but no. Okay, so hold on, hold on. How long you been in uh, Miami? My for? whole life. That's why. Draining. That's why. Mm-hmm. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> All right, fair cool. enough. Makes All a right. lot of sense. I have so many questions, but we got to continue on. Yeah, let everyone talk for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. What so, about you? Dating in Miami. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, well, <laughs> I can't really say that I go on dates because, you know, I kind of have a situation going on. But okay. these men do approach me on some sideway type of vibe, like, you know, oh, you want to go and chill. They're always wanting to chill. I'm just like, what is up with chill? Mm. Like, the chill, like, <laughs> elaborate. <laughs> Tell me what y'all want to do. It's like, if these men really want to go on a date, I feel like they should really just explain. I would like to fornicate with you, pull your hair and tell no, you yes. yourself while I do so. That's what girls need. <laughs> niggas girls can't need. say they want to fuck. Say that, you though. have to say they it in an say accent. That. But that's why okay. these what niggas be getting curved. is because y'all don't really explain to girls what y'all want to do with them. Oh. And then the girls Hold are up. just like, oh, nah, right. I want to go with If a nigga told too. you off rip, yo, ma, I just want to fuck. What you going to say? I'll give an honest answer, but the girls keep curving these niggas because these girl these niggas don't be giving the information that the girls need to hear. You feel me? You gonna say no? <laughs> I mean, Off rip. I mean, exactly. He, so why would he tell you the truth? But regardless, even if he doesn't tell me the <laughs> truth, you're still gonna get curved. Wait, it's what? like, do you want? It's like you want the female to know. You want to tell the female what you want to do. So the female can tell you the honest truth. I know what I'm saying. I see y'all turning your heads like she don't know what she's talking about. I know what I'm talking no, about. No, I said that because of the bruh. You didn't hear it. You said bruh. <laughs> the little sound Look, effect. Like many to I be will honest. Admit, they should saying, be honest, mm -hmm. but the problem is y'all don't want them to be honest deep down. You you might think you want to hear it, but you don't want to hear it. Because you're going to say no. Some girls might say yes. There might uh, be yeah, a handsome man. A small percentage. I might be that. drunk. Okay, but it's better than having these girls all just curving you because they don't know what you really want to do with no, them. No, but they don't curve me. That's just you. I mean, girls know. <laughs> but I have a boyfriend. It's like I have a reason to, but there's females out there that actually want to go on dates with niggas and they want the niggas to actually explain to them what is it that they want to do with them like during the day or just in general, you know? We want to fuck. Yeah. So you're saying, explain wait, it to are the you girl. saying like, like you want guys to like, you know, express like their intentions with yes. you? Yes. What's the word? There's a smart word to say it. What's that word? Um, I think I got the word. Stupid. I think that's the word. Because that's going to be an L if you tell girls the truth. Communication. Females need communication. And this is how you get closer to or her. Or penetration. Then, <laughs> and then that's how you get... In the, you know, that's how you all make it to the bedroom is y'all need to communicate with each other. All right. So, uh, guys, just walk up to the girl that you like and say, hey, I would like to have uh, monkey sex with you uh, <laughs> and pull your hair and call you a whore in the process. Would you be down to do this? I'm free Tuesday at 7 p.m. <laughs> and so let's see what happens. I think you'll end up getting slapped. And uh, well, you're going to get that ass. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> at least they made a date. But we'll hey, totally be, be honest advice. and direct. All right. What take about you? Advice. I mean, I mean, I've only been in Miami for like the last like four or five days, but I guess my experience. Oh shit! Oh shit! With, like, we literally just got here. Okay. I mean, I'm a, I'm just on vacation, so uh, so yeah. I mean, my experience with the guys is is very very different from like L.A. San Diego area with like how like guys approach you. Guys here, they don't give a fuck. They'll just walk up to you and just like they'll stare you down. Like I, I've been like whistled at and like someone's blowing kisses <laughs> while someone's driving by, and I was like, I didn't even get a chance to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> and so I don't know, it's it's interesting to me. So I don't have, really have like a. Where are you from originally? Um, like other than California. Like where do you like live now in Spain? Right, right now in I live California. Yeah, I live in California. Okay, mm -hmm. so, uh, what part? Um, it's I live I live in like Oceanside, so it's like forty minutes north of San Diego. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So different than Miami, I guess. Uh, yeah, very. They're not as brazen. Yeah, not at all. I mean, okay. some guys still will, but. It's yeah. very Yo, I ain't gonna lay. Your girl is not safe in Miami, bro. <laughs> Someone's gonna pull up on yo, what's yeah, good? I'm telling you. Seriously. Going to yacht with fresh. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut your mouth, boy. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, the T. Body OG. Oh man, I got a story for y'all. Oh shit. Are we Ready gonna go down this? memory lane? <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, go ahead. Tell your story. Yeah, my favorite. Y'all already know. So dating here is just like she said, this lovely lady here, traumatizing. It's fucking <laughs> traumatizing. Okay, so I came over here all hopeful and shit, like late uh, late April, like after four twenty, right? From where originally? I was living in um, Fort Myers, okay, little okay. Pakistan for the natives, you know. Okay. Um, Pakistan. Little Pakistan. The the crime is so bad over there. It's like wow. Yeah, it's really bad, and a lot of it is unsolved. So that's why there's so much of it. Anyway. Um, okay. story time. So, the very first day that I moved here to Miami, I was doing my little scouting and exploring and shit in Wynwood. I ended up meeting a really nice guy at Tay Dunn's. 
on Instagram. Love oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> she put him on blast. Okay. T-A-E underscore D-U-N-G. <laughs> yeah, no business. <laughs> okay. All right. Beautiful specimen. All right. So he is everything that I love. J- literally just like me. An artist, you know, building a studio, LA dreams, everything. Everything. So it's like, okay, cool. All right. We chilling. He becomes like, you know, my little, my little whoop de whoop, my little, my little situationship or whatever. We're not dating or anything. But translation, he, they're casually having sex, guys. Okay. There you whoop-de-whoop. go. I'm not going to get deeper than that. Okay. But I got to tell for the deeper. guys because if men, men, we communicate overtly and women tend to say, oh, yeah, yeah no, no. whoop de whoop, whatever. Yeah, I translate to womanies. So go ahead. Continue. Okay, yeah. I just say that for like whoever I'm not officially dating. Okay. But um yeah, he's doing everything right, right? Mm-hmm. So he's taking me out, expensive dinners, he taking me to all the exclusive fucking spots, you know, Stupid. like Stupid. Oh my bad, my finger slipped. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, y'all. Like, no cap. This dude was taking me to like restricted access places and it was all thrilling because I love doing the bad shit because I'm just as bad as him. I mean, I'm talking about rooftops that were like no access, fucking on them. Like Brilliant. it was like a whole beautiful little adventure. Like real life Harley Quinn Joker shit. Buying my nails, doing my nails $120. Okay. Stupid. <laughs> Bro. And and I then like then where you winning in this, so where's the bad part? You're saying he's stupid, so yeah. where's the bad part in this? Well, the bad part is that even though he was he is like more emotionally attached to me, he's still a hoe. It's the Miami syndrome, like Girl, accept that shit. It's the Miami point. syndrome. All the guys out here are hoes. It doesn't matter how good he treat you, he still got Bitches and DMs. I would argue uh, a man can't be a hoe. He can only be a hoe maker. Oh, what the hoe fuck? Maker. Yeah. Explain. That's no, explain because that's the, uh, that's the first I've ever heard. So. Yes. So, in other words, men can't be hoes. They can be promiscuous. Women, however, can be hoes. That's the difference. The okay, book. I get that. No, that no, no I, hear, I hear you. Uh, I hear you. tried you. it. Well, he <laughs> was <laughs> very, is very promiscuous. No matter how, you know, how good he wants to say like he treats me and stuff and that oh i do shit for you that i would never do for nobody else it's like they try to play this cute Lies. little charming role you do that for right every bitch. and it's so uh it's so you want him right and i'm telling y'all look him up on youtube ladies no hesitation and i just want to add men can be hoes you can't say women could be hoes oh, and men can't dirty. Oh, men it's are the, nasty. the there's more I'm men hoes than women hoes out there i'm just gonna say you think so I think so. Because men are out there. They think that just because they men, they could go to the strip clubs and things and they could do all Whoa. these things because they're men. But when the women do it, I oh, you're a hoe, club. right? Wait. There's men no. strippers out there too. Honestly, <laughs> I get what you're saying. but I, I think- You triggered my yeah, trick card. Right. <laughs> so, oh. our, uh, question. Are men and women the same? We're not the same. Okay. No. Obviously not. Is it fair to say that it is far easier for women to get sexual access than it is for men? Yes. I guess. Depending. I mean, I would. It's not even, See, I guess. It's sh- an emphatic yes. You don't know. Okay. If any of you walked into the nightclub and said, I'm horny, who wants to fuck? Oh, Everyone's going to come running like. Uh, so basically, when so, a woman but, goes around having sex however, with multiple niggas, however, she's let me a just finish. Let okay. me finish. Let me finish. If I went into the nightclub and said, Who wants to fuck? Dressed to the nines with a Lamborghini parked out front, 10000 in my pocket, girls are still going to say, Take me on a balcony and fuck me there, or I need to go somewhere you know exclusive what? or take me to the balcony. That's not the point. I'm going to take it back. I think there's a different word for it. There's players. Men could be players and then the women could be hoes. I think that sounds better. Than I think yeah, a yeah, hoe yeah, yeah. is like a dirty okay. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Like you just going to fuck any person that literally for the sake of fucking. Not because you want like you're just nasty. Like you're going to fuck anything, anybody, mm-hmm. anywhere. N- don't even have to talk to them. That to me is a hoe whether you're a guy or a girl. So let's mm-hmm. uh let's take away the the, no the actual rubber. term. Raw. Let, let, yeah. Okay. I mean, if you want to go that far, mm-hmm. I was just gonna. I'm just simply gonna say this: the term "hoe," "slut," whatever it is, derogatory terms to shame women for being promiscuous. You and men. Well, here's the thing: you can't attribute those terms to a man, and the reason why is because for a man to have sex, he has to br- provide value to some degree. Mm-hmm. Women, however, don't Not have to really. provide value to get Not sexual really. access. Some, some, that's what I'm telling you. Some girls just want dick. Some okay. niggas just want pussy. You you don't have to have anything else. And <laughs> like that's just how it is. But here's the difference though. If a woman just wants dick, what's she gonna do? She's gonna pick a tall, athletic, good looking mm-hmm. man 
that had to work to get there. That's the point. Mm -hmm. Men and women are not, it's not the same. Like a man that has sex with a lot of girls has to bring value. A woman that has sex with a lot of dudes doesn't have to bring Mm -hmm. value. I know some real. You don't play by this. What you know and reality Mm -hmm. are two different things. Oh, reality is not. Reality is, are you aware that like only 10 to 20% of men are like actually having sex with girls? Who they having sex with? (laughs) Exactly. That's the point. That proves my point. Wait, what? Yeah. (laughs) Their hand. They're not having sex. They're not having sex is my point that I'm trying to make. Or they're watching porn. So men, simply put, men have to create their value. Women are born with value. Women have to preserve their value. A man that has sex with a lot of girls inherently brings value. Look at a celebrity. Look at a rapper. Look at an athlete. They bring value to the marketplace and a byproduct of that is women come to them. Women, however, don't have to bring value to the marketplace to get a man. So therefore, when you have sex, you lose value. For a man to have sex, he has to have value. That's the difference. I don't know. I mean, you don't have to you like the rules. I just report them. Do a couple what? Huh? Do a couple kegels? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> yeah, like to get your pussies tight again. Oh, but it goes far. <laughs> now you're going right back up. Nah, it goes, far beyond, it goes far beyond right. kegels. There's a bunch of research that shows like, th- we don't even have so to get into that like right now. So you feel like when women have sex, they lose value? I mean, let's be honest here. There's really? a reason why. There's a reason why since the beginning of time, you know, men have coveted virgins. I'm not saying that that's like right, but it's the way the world works. I like don't know. Men... That should be snapping back. I don't, okay. I... Question. How many men have you had sex with? Ciao. What the fuck? Oh, thank you. Exactly. <laughs> you proved my point right there. Don't. When I'm I, not when like I writing question, it down and checking on. my list. But, but that's the point. I'm not saying that. That's, that's my point. When I asked you that, your uh, initial response was, oh, whoa, I'm not going to answer that. Even, what the fuck? No, I don't care to answer. I really don't know. Okay. Who well, says, that's, I don't I don't know. But that's, that's okay. worse, though. That's yeah. If How is that worse? If Most you, women. If you can't count, I if, didn't say how. No, it's not about counting. But who's sitting there counting? A lot but, okay. of women do. That's think about weird. it, right? A lot I of women don't. Do. That's weird. Think about it. I would it. venture to say pro- a bunch weird. of guys <laughs> at the table probably know their body counts. Yeah, they probably know. Legit. Okay, probably. Okay, no, not yeah. gonna lie. Y'all know. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna take me like a minute to think about like the names. Right. I, I think about like who did I date. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, yeah. Okay. Do y'all know your body counts? We do, but what I'm trying to say is that most women know their body count to a degree and they do everything in their power to keep that number down. Whereas, like, men don't care. That's the difference. Mm. Some men I do guess care, I'm a nigga. There's a lot of men out there <laughs> that actually have value and purpose in their That's spirit true. and they actually care about the amount of girls that they have sex with. No, they care about that? that. That's called bougie dick. There's definitely. <laughs> like, for instance. No, no. Who told you that? <laughs> that's that's wisdom that I already know. Because <laughs> there's a lot of Christian men that's out there Ooh. that actually Girl value vibe. their, you know, their <laughs> spirit. And they don't want to give energy out to girls that don't deserve it, you know? You know guys will say anything <laughs> you know not true, to bitch. you. It's a very rare breed. They, they, they do the exist. Christian niggas be the Christians most... exist in life, oh you know God. what I'm yes, saying? Religious, I, and there's me. religious men out there, too, that be doing the same thing. They be like doing Muslims. the worst, though. I grew up in the church. They be doing the worst. Yes, They'll tell you one thing and then go behind. Exactly. I'm telling you, it's all it's all of a side. I'm telling you. And listen, to, to bring this some, back full circle, so we don't get there, to bring this back full circle, small, so that small. we we can we can finish this point. A man that has sex with a lot of women is not the same as a woman that has sex with a lot of men. Period. Like yeah, yeah, you can argue with me and say it's not fair and whatever. Hey, it's not fair that you guys get into nightclubs for free. It's not free that people <laughs> pay, take you out on free dinners. It's not free that you guys can make ten thousand a month selling feet pictures on OnlyFans. Life isn't fair. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? There's benefits to being a woman and benefits to being a man. It just so happens that one of the benefits as be- to being a man is it's really hard to come by sex. So if you can get it, you're able to do it as much as you want without, you know, shame from society. But for women, since it's easy for you guys to come by, you are going to be shamed from, from society because no one wants to eat a sandwich that's been dropped on the floor a million times. <laughs> that's just how it is. I-, I hate to say it like that. But that's that's how that's how men view women. They're like, w- if you ask a girl what's your body count, she's gonna lie to you or not tell you. Why? Because women know deep down their oh, values no. determined by their body count to some degree for marriage purposes, which is every woman's ultimate goal in the future. I mean, there's a reason why you work down an aisle and uh, and you know when you get married in a white dress. Or if they don't know, then that means that. Uh, yeah. So what's dating like I, in Miami? No, I mean do well, your thank thing. You like, so listen, much for asking. ladies. <laughs> I'm not saying that that's right or that's wrong. I'm saying, I'm telling you the truth about how men really think. Mm -hmm. Hey, we love hoes. We bang them all the time. But what I'm saying is that if you want to get married, you want to get a certain caliber guy, he's going to have a vested interest in your past. Mm. Okay. If you're dating in Miami. Sure. So I've been in Miami for four months, um, modeling, you know, doing my thing. Folks. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Tinder sucks. Mm -hmm. I went to LA and, and New York this month. 
Right, right, right. Match, 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 match. And then I come back home to Miami. I'm like, oh, finally, like, I'll have to find a boyfriend. And then it's like, no one wants to match with me. So I don't know what's about You can't really say LA. Tinder sucks, though. Tinder can actually get you a really good match. Like, I'm going to, like, that's how I found my boyfriend is on Tinder. So Yo. That word is crazy. Yo. First However, so you live in a fairy tale, huh? I really do. But, you know, it's the best fairy tale ever. But, but that's not her fairy tale. I want to oh, be like okay. that. Thanks. <laughs> but oh, I can't. my God. I, I'm not going to happen. Okay, okay. So you're saying that you got no matches at all? Like literally, maybe once a week. I don't understand it either. Chat niggas, y'all think what I'm thinking? Cool. I have thick what? eyes what and thinking? I'm blonde. I don't know what else everyone wants from no, me. No, no, niggas will go crazy for you. No, they do. No. That's what I'm saying. So you, you capping no right Wi-Fi. now? I'm lo- uh, not on Tinder though. Hold on. Instagram though. Yeah, no, of course, Instagram. Yeah, See, President Nikki, you gonna plug my shit real quick? What she's not telling you is that she only swipes right on probably like. One out of fifty guys, probably. I'm picky. Mm. All right, yeah. so that's. I mean, they should all yeah. be super liking me. I should see a list of them. <laughs> oh, entitlement. <laughs> Yo, you can't make this up. Okay, Yo, okay, okay, uh, okay. Because uh, I, 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 <laughs> I stand by it. Um, <laughs> well, here's the thing. We we uh, we're actually experts in Tinder. Yeah. And what we oh. found is that like women find like ninety like ninety plus percent of the guys is unattractive Ugly. on Tinder. So you're not I the agree. only one that has. Uh, yeah. How do I say this respectfully? Delusional standards a bit. Uh, because the thing is, is that all the girls are chasing the top 1% of men on, on Tinder. You know? I can see that. I can see that. And these guys, <laughs> you really think they're just going to be faithful to you, taking only you to the balcony to smash and shit? Like that? <laughs> You're on Tuesday. Like I said, I better be a nice <laughs> on Thursday. <laughs> the unfortunate reality, ladies, is that a small percentage of men are fucking all the girls or the majority of the girls. That's why guys that once they reach a certain level, they're not faithful, again, which is, again, why guys that are promiscuous are not the same as women that are promiscuous. The guys that fuck a lot of girls are far and few between. The girls that could that fuck are everywhere, mm. but they're stu- but they're fucking Wait, a small percentage of the men. Mm. Can you repeat that? Okay, I got you, uh, Chris. You got <laughs> it. Just yeah, got got you. Chris, you got me. Stupid. All right, so uh, <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Okay, go. Twenty percent of the men, <laughs> being conservative, are mm. fucking like eighty to ninety percent of the girls. Of the conservative men. No, no, no. <laughs> You said twenty percent of the men being men. conservative. No, no, no. I'm, I'm being <laughs> like, I'm saying like conservatively, not the conservative men. I'm saying like I'm overestimating. It's okay. probably le- way less than ten, twenty percent. But a small minority of the men mm-hmm. are smashing a majority of the girls. So in other words, mm-hmm. the guys that you're having sex with are having sex with all the other girls too, probably. Oh, fuck oh. y'all. Well, well, I mean, like, yeah, I'm of just, course. <laughs> I mean, you picked do what them, you so do. I'm just ill, like. Oh. I mean, hey, that's the so reality, was man. My invite. A lot of a lot of girls are sharing the same small percentage of guys. I mean, think Facts. about it though. Like, how many? Uh, I mean, you said you only swipe right on a small percentage of guys, right? I guarantee every girl at the table is selective like that with Tinder too. And if a guy approaches you at a club, what? Maybe one guy you might actually meet up with on a date out of twenty or thirty that talks to you, if that. I can't get into clubs, but wish I could. I'm Wait. saying for <laughs> other girls in here. Wait, why not? I'm twenty. Man. Yeah, I know. I'm saying yeah. for the other girls. You can get right. a club. Yeah, you can. In Miami, you Listen, can. Listen, definitely. Mm-hmm. You're cat because I already know Instagram niggas are DMing you every single day. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you you got options. So you you can't say, t- um, man. Look, you. It's, it's it's all cap. That being said, what about you? Well, me, I actually love Miami men. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Shocker. Listen, I oh, had know. two real relationships in Miami, and they've been like the most. I would say like. Right now, with my current re- ship, because my relationship, <laughs> ship, <laughs> New York men compared to Miami. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'll take me a Miami boy any day. Damn, that's like the okay. the worst of like the best of two evils. <laughs> like, listen, no, nah. Miami men they cater, and even if they give you this false oh, life, listen, me, language, I'm more of like, I need my emotional state being nurtured. Like Miami men. That Can to you me, elaborate when you say Miami men? Because there's different types well, of races. Well, South Florida. Well, you know what? Oh, no, to South get Florida. specific, right? So, like, la- is, is it good, Latino men? That's a good Latin point. men, black. black men. That's a good point. Oh. Hey. Black. That's BBC, BBC winning. winning. My nigga. It ain't the, the white men though. <laughs> I don't know. That's not my type. Okay. It's just not my preference. My preference is a black male. I mean, you serious? Sheesh. Oh, yes. oh, I love me some black like men. BBC, bro. Has to be bigger, or big. What but is BBC? Period. I'm just my experience has been. I, I you know, honestly, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I love coming to Miami because oh, every time I come here, it's like I'm I'm fucking catered. What? Uh, I, I'm I'm serious. Like I have all my exes. They're just on my DMs. I'm like, okay, which one? 
Damn. I so, got Texas so, so question. So, so what's up, cater to um, like what? Cater, like, like what? What I mean, I say cater. Like I said, my emotional state. Me, mm-hmm. I'm a very emotional person. Oh, really? So I, I need a lot of a lot of attention. So like nice and shit. If you get mad, <laughs> right? Like, like kiss my ass, lick my ass. No, no. But, like, but if, if you get mad, like. Do you stab Chris, niggas? put the camera on you, man. No, Who's talking? So they're, they're I'm like, saying, the like, if, if you get mad, do you stab niggas? If they don't, no, I, I'm no, you? actually, no. I'm actually very communicative. I don't get aggressive or anything. Me, what I like to do, I like to just the ignore. knife is coming, dear. And honestly, <laughs> when I do get upset, I actually, I'm actually very quiet. I hold it in, and then when it's the right What's time your background? to speak, I'm Peruvian. Oh, okay. Wow. Ooh, is that yes. Explains yeah. it. The za. So, yeah. That's my experience. That's something I'm listening to y'all. I'm like, okay. I mean, I can't. I can't relate. Mm. Okay. I feel like okay. New York is worse. New York, yes, very. Uh. Okay, so right. real quick, go back this way. In your humble opinion, who cheats more, men or women? And then, please tell us if it happened to you in your relationship or ship. Let's we'll start here. <laughs> woman, and I'm gonna say this: Why women cheat? Because women, when they cheat, most of them. We cheat with emotions. Men can go and sleep with another woman and then come back home to their wife or whatever. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. She's from New York. watching this show? <laughs> yo. Yo. I'm oh, sorry. That was on point. Yeah. Yes, what part of New York are you from, FAX. by what the way? Part? Okay. Well, I am from. I live in Queens, but I'm really from Harlem. Oh, okay. Explain East side. That. All right. Explain To that. be exact. West side? <laughs> All right. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> That's my opinion. Oh, dear. Okay. It's I guess tender. I'm going to have to agree. Yes, Miss Tinder. I love that for me. Um, I haven't been cheated on, but I definitely feel like emotional cheating, like you were saying, is super easy. And like women, like <laughs> verbal violence, literally the second I'm like, I'm bored next, you know, I feel long. So, yeah. so you think women cheat more? Is their final answer? I think as emotionally. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hmm. Men definitely cheat more. Okay. Um, women right. are a lot worse when they cheat because like they said, it's emotional. We do it out of anger out of spite out of out of love out of hate you know all that shit um has it happened to me i've never been cheated on in a relationship official relationship but like in a situation where i'm talking to someone and they were fucking around Mm. with an ex when they shouldn't have been motherfucker (laughs) <laughs> Are we talking about the, this, flash this flash dude flash. that you name dropped? Yeah, we still talking about Tay. Oh, we're still the talking about him. Wait, we wait, still wait. talking about Tay. Wait, hold on. Look. Have you ever cheated? Have I cheated? Yeah. No. Never. No, actually, no. Stop no, I'm a writer. No, for all, I've never cheated because I've done a lot of breaking up though. I, if I don't like something in the relationship, I'm very quick to pack my shit and leave the same day. But it depends. What do you consider cheating? Mm. See, because oh, I have Lord. a no. Ooh. Cheating, okay. There we go. Ooh. Cheating is Ooh. when you, yeah. if you're in, okay, it's depending on the relationship because cheating could be different <laughs> nah, things for different, yes. No, you have to have a standard like me. I have a standard what cheating means. Like you're looking at a female. You're cheating. If looking you intimate, at somebody is cheating. You're thinking about somebody else, you're cheating. No. No, no, no. If <laughs> no, you're that's, intimate, that's true. If you're intimate with <laughs> no, someone that's human instinct. and you're not honest about it, you know, you're, you're yeah. cheating, you're lying. You're hiding your text message. You're fucking cheating. Why are you deleting the messages? Honestly, I don't even give a fuck about text messages because I've been. <laughs> it's cheating. <laughs> yeah, cheating doesn't necessarily you have agree? to be. You're cheating. Like, yeah. That's sense. what I said. People have you're pronouncing R's. You're cheating. This is New York, asshole. Yo. You're cheating. All right. Yeah. Uh, and you know, we could get into the, the definition of cheating because I, I disagree with you. But um, you can cheat emotionally as well. But um, and thing is, I'm not a cheater because I'm just the bitch that'll drop you type shit. Like, bro, so, if I don't fucking on. like you, I'm. So, question for you. Go on. Would you rather break it with somebody than go ahead and do what you got to do? Cause that's that that's literally how I am. Like if I'm with somebody, mm-hmm. I know it's, I'm like, the type of the bitch cheat. that if I'm mm-hmm. dating with someone, I'm just giving you everything, like all of me, because it's an investment for me. If you're doing good, I'm doing good, and if I'm putting my energy in you and you're not giving that back to me, I'm going to leave, and I don't have no problem with that. Like I I've been through a lot of trauma, especially oh, like growing say. up, growing up type shit. Harley Quinn. <sighs> You, you know the thing about Harley Quinn is that she's a fucking character. Okay. This bitch is real. <laughs> All right. What? I've been through a lot of trauma, <laughs> so like what? breaking up with somebody doesn't fucking do shit to me. I'm not gonna cry because you're not acting right. No, bitch. I'm gonna leave, and you're gonna fucking hate your life because I left. 
<laughs> I don't look back either. I, I had a six year relationship with a great man. The moment we started having problems that he put his hand on me one time, I packed my shit that same night and I left the next morning. Oh, Period. I never looked back. He begged to come back. Moving states and everything, because this was in Texas, and I'm from Florida. So I was, I left back to Florida. Fuck Man. Texas. I don't give a fuck. I left. Fast as fuck. Like, why are you going to cheat? For what? Just leave your situation first. Like, you got to get yourself together, get your situation stable, and then involve yourself with another person. Because you're just going to bring another person into a, your like, shit show. Can you really blame a nigga if he che cheats? Like, can you put yes. all the blame and anger on him? <laughs> no. Like, what if he was in a state of, like, confusion? Like, say yeah. he was drunk or if he, if he was demon-possessed or something. Can you really say? <laughs> demon <laughs> Sorry, my dick's right. lift. I'll, I'll blame him when we yeah. yeah. no. <laughs> Blame him? Yes. Not in all, all right. situations, yeah. but... Okay, so to it's answer it, I guess, because there was a lot thrown out there between <laughs> the fucking assholes cheating and... What, what's the guy's name again, since you probably want to name drop it again? Tayduns, Tayduns. Tayduns, okay. Tayduns, I'm sorry that she's YouTube putting you on blast right now. Up. But, uh, <laughs> so, okay. I'm real quick. To cry. Yeah. Super Chats are piling up. Okay. Read uh, real quick. Oh, all right, so... <laughs> yeah, because it's going to take Chris a second. So we'll move on. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll do her, and then we'll move on and do, do Super Chat. Cool. Uh, I'm sorry. What was the question? Gotcha. And have you ever Who cheats more? Who cheats more? more? Men, men or women? Um, I think both, at least now, are kind of like equal. Um, men are just definitely more of like it's more of like a sexual thing, where it's just like, nah, dude, I just want to get my dick wet. Versus a girl, it's like, oh, well, this guy's being so nice to me, and like I'm gonna talk to him more, you know, because I feel good when I'm with him. So, so yeah, just like exactly what all the other girls are saying. For guys, I think it's definitely more sexual. For women, it's more emotional. So I think it's kind of equal. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you think it's okay? Just for equal, but different reasons. Yeah, equal but different reasons for right. sure. Equal. Equal. Okay. Definitely. All right. That's my go. Um, I'm gonna say men because I feel like merch. Uh, it's a man's world. Like y'all taught us how to cheat. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, Capital X. I mean, y'all been doing this. We just, we just, we just c catching on. Um, yeah, that's how I feel. I don't. I'm not gonna say women cheat less or more now, but I'm gonna just say men because y'all are the founders. I think like, men are more <laughs> reckless of cheating. Cheat. Like <laughs> y'all, y'all did that, but we're more uh, like I agree. We're more emotional when we cheat. Like we have to really like you. Y'all could be like, oh, she got a fat ass. I'm finna, I'm finna smash that shit. <laughs> we finna be like, <laughs> yo, nigga, like, like Hulk smash. <laughs> yeah, like y'all don't even give a fuck. Like y'all okay. taught us how to not give a fuck. So I'm gonna say men. Facts. Okay. okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm with you. All right. Yeah, okay. definitely. Man. Men are the most reckless cheaters. The females, they go <laughs> calm. They'll give the, they'll cheat. They'll give a kiss. But men, they go out having threesomes. Your sister fucking sons. on yachts. <laughs> your wait, sister. wait, mother <laughs> fucking on <laughs> yachts. Everybody. I don't know what y'all so, be doing, but would you, would it be safe to say that this is coming from your experiences with men? How you feel? It definitely is from experience. Okay, mm. interesting. Yes. All right, we got a video to play. Oh, Before sorry, that, super chats. chats. Oh, okay. Chats. And, uh, and uh, by the way, we got a. Uh, a gift up on, on Twitch. Oh, uh, gift sub. Yep. All right. Uh, we got um. Ooh. Shout out to MMA, MMA fan ninety five. Get the ten tier one subs. Thank, Thank you, brother. So much. Yo, yo, Twitch, he, man. he uh, donated thirty five subs this weekend to our, 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 our group chat. So shout out to him, by the way. Hey, thank you, oh, bro. Appreciate you, bro. that greatly, man. <laughs> Thanks, thank brother. you, thank you, thank you. And, uh, we got, and then we got the uh, uh, super chats here. Uh, so sorry, uh, poll. A uh, poll. Oh, someone yep. took a poll. Okay. Who cheats more, men or women? Eighty eight percent say women. Thirteen percent said men. Wow. <laughs> That's it's all men. Only men. I wonder who's yep. in the chat. I wonder. Exactly. Nah, there's girls, there's girls in there too. Yeah. Get the fuck. <laughs> we'll, we'll, sure. we'll, uh, we'll break it down for you guys here in a second. And it, it's, uh, I mean, we'll play the video and then we'll talk about it after. So, okay. Vader, UT, YT. I can see the Frank Castle already. Oh, no, no. Hopefully not. Wayne, got an early day tomorrow. Catch you on the replay. FNF fam is the best. Thank, Thank you so you much, Wayne. Wayne. Appreciate Thank that you, greatly. Yeah. <laughs> And then we, uh, Marco, we got our Marco. former president, Donald, uh, the <laughs> Montenegrin girl about to be sold by a Wait, what? <laughs> Who's the Montenegrin? Donald Trump. He's trying to say that you're going to be so sold by Of course Trump it. would say that. <laughs> 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 All right. Yo. Uh, Shi Yan Wei. Chat uh, The War Room of Andrew Tate represents and sends you its best regards. Looking forward to seeing the Fresh Fifth Fam in November. Not bringing Meghan Markle as a guest. Hilarious, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, shout out to me, you, bro. Uh, shouldn't we join in the war room? 
We might, we might join. We might join the dark side. We probably should warm, join the warm room, man. Uh, yeah, for you guys that are wondering, Andrew Tate's going to come. He's going to be here in November. Uh, four-time kickboxing world champion. Good friend of ours out there in Romania. Yep. And uh, he's going to bring a special guest with him, and we're going to break the fucking oh, internet. Oh, yeah. It's going to go super viral, all right? Uh, Jamal Adam, and I think you guys know in the chat who it may be. Um, Joe Rogan. <laughs> 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 no, nah, not Joe, but way better. Uh, okay, we got uh, uh, Jamal uh, Adam from Great Britain. We got the whole world in here. We got Japan. Cool. I see uh, Australia. Europe. Cool. I see uh, Australia. Lit. Okay, first time super chat from the UK. Did any of the ladies get raised to be a man's wife or raised to be independent of a man? Ooh, hmm. Both of them. Good question. Man's okay. wife or to be independent? Oh, be independent. Absolutely independent. My mother taught me to be a wife and my dad taught me to be a hustler and to be independent. Okay, so which one are you uh, picking? Definitely the independence. Okay. Yeah, raised to be independent. At the age of four, I said, when I grow up, I'm going to marry my husband. So. Man. <laughs> at the age of four, and I remember when I was 12 years old, they were all laughing about it. But at the age of 19, I met him. So who's laughing now? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> no, she's living life, bro. Okay, what about you? I'm going to say I'm gonna both. Like her when I grow up. Well, you can't really be, do it's both. Fair. What? Well, here's the well, thing. My, well, let's I keep would, it honest here. If you're going to be raised to be a wife, that is literally the I opposite I feel like of I already have values to be a wife, but I was raised to be independent just from watching my mom. I wasn't raised intentionally, just by observation. With all due respect, wives would know their body count, but that's another story. What? Oh, Hold on. Give me a pen and paper. Shots. I got you. Oh, God. You <laughs> if got, you really you got, want you to know. You got to carry one and do yes. a division. It's a math uh-huh. like division and shit Carry like the two. Yeah. Do you, oh. do you count guys that use condoms as bodies? Huh? Do, do I count it? Yeah. yeah that's sex. It's still a dick. It's not real sex, but it's sex. Oh, yeah. we, we, we Some just, girls don't. We know girls that it, don't count that's weird. No, yeah. what? And, we, and we also we know girls that don't count, don't count dudes on vacation either. Yeah. <laughs> or, oh. anal. Or, oh. Anal. or anal. Or anal. Yeah. Or anal. Or anal. Or if they were drunk. Or blow yeah. jobs. Or when I stand. I mean, it's or okay bathroom breaks. Wrong. That all counts. Everything counts. Or coworkers. That's why I need a pen and paper. Or if they can't remember. No, it's okay to be wrong. I need a pen and paper. All right. Fair enough. And then what about you? Were you raised to be independent too? Or to be a wife? I actually wasn't. I was raised in a very conservative environment. So, uh, but there's a reason why I moved to the States all by myself. Oh, shit. Shots about to uh, not a girl, by the way. Fair enough. Okay. She's she's (laughs) she's trouble. I I can see it already. Okay. Um, So, okay. So, we got. Fuck me, soak me. uh, (laughs) These ladies prefer fun and career over legacy, and they're going to get a huge dose of reality in 10 years. Which will come right. quicker than they think. Oh shit! Who's these ladies? Y'all right. heard me. I'm very, very, very. Some of us have focusing. They're not talking about you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who they talking about? Uh, me? Who knows? They're talking about the women that are saying that we're independent and we're not trying to be. All uh, right. Th- they're Damn. basically uh, JC ten bucks. <laughs> Rear top with no access. <laughs> then how did you get up there by whole uh, whole helicopter? I can't give away my secrets, man. He taught me Bruh. how to fucking get up there, and I'm ne- what? It's my favorite. And we talking about the strip, too. I get to see y'all when y'all walking by down there. Mm-hmm. Two, three in the morning. Oh. I be fucking up there at the very top, and y'all walking by. Is that a break in the entry? <laughs> so. <laughs> so. I'm okay. dead. All right. Okay. Um, and then we got uh, Cole Epps with a $50 donation. Thank you. And then we got Ronald Saluki all the way from Japan, 5,000 yen. Baby Next to Fresh is a whole snack times two a day. <laughs> Bae, come visit me in Japan. Oh, what's your uh, Instagram again? Underscore. I am Rosie Rosales. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, so we got uh, <laughs> 50 bucks from Coral Epps. Porky the pig, verbal violence. Who's he talking about? Uh, what the his fuck, mom. nigga? <laughs> his mother. And then we got Shmeebles, $10. What the fuck is that clicking going on for? Clicking? Yo, this thing is fucking know. crazy, bro. What? Oh, no. Nah, that's that's no, not it. Still in that. that. Uh, Isaiah Mack, $5. <laughs> and then we got 5 bucks. Coexist and Let Live. Uh, girl in the red looks like her lashes had a little too much Red Bull. That's the whole point. Not enough. That wasn't even funny. My lashes. Not enough, bitch. You got something else to say to him or anything else? <laughs> nah, it's all right. That's a, that was a lame ass fucking it statement. Was. Okay, oddly, Noel, <laughs> demon <laughs> possessed. Where's Trey when you need him the most? Okay, uh, women cheat more. Not only do they cheat more, they have a backup plan intact in case they break up with their current boyfriend. Oh, he didn't. Thing. Facebook, I mean, yeah. Instagram, uh, Snapchat. Not gonna lie, y'all dangerous, back. man. No. Y'all you be walking dangerous. on eggshells, buddy. Nolan. <laughs> Baptiste, fresh and fit is the best, and it's good to see Donovan Sharp recover from uh, the beer bug. Yeah, He's thank back. you, man. All right, cool. So we got a video to react to here. We got 4,300 plus of you guys in here, by the way. Guys, do us a quick favor. Like the video. Like the video. Like it. 
And uh, subscribe to the channel, to channel man, because a lot of y'all are ninja watchers. Once again, we're grilling you now, but you're going to have your chance to ask us questions on the panel. So get ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Whatever yeah, you want. Don't worry. Yeah, you'll be able Yeah, you will be able to. Uh, so here's a video going viral around the internet right now. Oh, and basically, I don't know if you guys seen this video before. Have you? No. No. Our boy Academics oh, posted Lord. it. It just looks. But basically, oh, someone. Shout out DJ Academics. <laughs> someone <laughs> is defending their stance on what they did. Oh, Lord. We're going to find out right now. Oh, no. Are you ready? <laughs> it looks bad. Oh, wait, 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 man. No. Quick, 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 quick. You see the position yeah, she's like, in? Is it Firefox? Beetle? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Shoes. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, shit. Well, I caught you lying. You got mad. I did. Okay, and then what, and when you got mad, you wouldn't fuck somebody else. I was mad at me. Okay, but you wouldn't fuck somebody else. I did. Because you got caught lying. Yes. And now this person is now. Mad at me. Now this person is now. Hillary Clinton. Texting. Like <laughs> saying that he was with you actually all night. He was not. Okay, but so he's lying. He is lying. Okay. Wait, he is lying. That's a big fat fucking lie. He said last Friday night, last Friday night. What does Katy Perry voice mean? I have no idea. I don't know what he's talking about. So he's lying. I think he was with somebody else before he got to me. That's what I think. Okay. Well, he thinks he had sex with you all night. He didn't. Did you blow him near the couch? Yes. Okay. Well, he right to... when he walked in the door. Okay, so wait, right when you walked in, you went outside and did. Yes. Okay. Well, he, re he, he references that. So he's he knows it's you. Yeah, okay. He's talking about being with you all night. He wasn't. Yeah. We didn't leave the restaurant until 1030. You just... Okay. Heard that? Okay. Well, there was but, nothing but, to but, 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 but she didn't say that you weren't with him as well. Call her back. She probably won't take the call since you hung up on her. But go ahead and um, call but her do back. You, okay. Now, do you feel bad at all that you did what you did? Oh my God. What? Fuck yes, I do. What do you feel bad about? Stop. I feel bad that well for a hundred different things. I feel bad. Where's the tears, bitch? Starting backwards or starting like, yeah. working backwards. Yep. I felt absolutely terrible that I cheated on you. Well, I was getting there. I told you I was working from the end and going backwards. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? The uh, worst thing that I've ever done is hurt you. Okay, so but so when you when you when you got but so tell me more about the logic of you fucking getting caught lying, and then you go suck some other guy's dick because I caught you lying. How how does that work? <laughs> okay, she already got caught. She was, was like, an absolute whore and deserved to be treated like one. It was self mutilation. I don't know how to behave like. First of all, oh, that didn't make was no she sense. on drugs? Is she not okay. <laughs> nah, she was sober, bro. You <laughs> know when she did it. Bro. So, ladies, give us your opinion on this video because uh, you Ooh. guys said earlier men cheat more, but I'm curious to find out what you think now. But let's just get your opinion. I honestly think like that whole thing was a fucking lie. I feel like there's like something March. like behind it. Just but I did it because I, I hated my. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Here's what I think. I mm. honestly think both of them are messed up in the head. First of all, <laughs> yeah, right, how right, you have right, a right, wife and she doesn't even talk. If she's not even Shorty. on drugs, she's sober Shorty and that's how she acts. Imagine how he acts. I think they're mm -hmm. both delusional. So it's like they could stay together. They delusional. Just go your way. You know what I'm saying? I I got nothing to say else. Okay. Nothing else to say. Mm. Okay. Uh, you guys skipped the line, but okay, we'll start here with. Uh, <laughs> My apologies. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> What's My thoughts take? on the video? Yep. Um, <laughs> honestly, I'm confused. <laughs> I think that she got caught cheating and has a hard time admitting it. Or I don't know what's going on, honestly. I mean, I she, think there's a lot more to it. I mean, we just she, didn't get to hear all. Right. I mean, she admitted it pretty easily. She's like, I sucked dick. And she he was did. like, so. <laughs> like, yep, I did. So, yeah. what's the hard time? His dick or <laughs> the truth? <laughs> I think there's more to it, honestly. I mean, I'm you sure. You think there's that something that when you, because a lot of you guys have I'm been sure saying that there's the more to it. The husband did something that caused uh, her to go that route. I'm not, but that was only a couple of minutes. We didn't get the full scenario. Mm. Okay, interesting. All right. She toxic. Um, she probably is Sagittarius, but. <laughs> Because she did not Bruh. care. Something had no. Something definitely had to happen for her to be that heartless in the way that she was answering. She was just like, "Yep, I did it. Yep, 
like she, it was it almost seemed like mm, like rev- not revenge but like a don't care like she waited and for you cannot years. care that fucking <laughs> right you can't care not care that much like that was pretty fucking bad like yeah i mm. did it mm. okay. yeah i don't know that's a good take uh well you gave yours okay and then i know miss marines as well okay what about you um, I mean, it raised more questions to me than anything. Like, are y'all married? Is this cheating or is it an affair? Um, um, she for the streets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's all I got. Like, if she fucking, then she fucking. Well, what she did was wrong, but I am proud of her for that end moment where she's like, this is why I did it because I'm emotionally, like, not good right now. So at least, like, good for her in that aspect. But a little, like, weird to the husband for dragging it on so long. He's like, I know you cheated. And she's like, yeah, I know. And then he kept it going for another two minutes. Like, accept it and leave. Like, you already got your answer. Like, you're obviously getting off to it. Like, just get it and leave, you know? That's what I think. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. How would you feel if that was, that was you, though? If I cheated? No, no. If you, the guy cheated on you. I'd be like, okay, cool. You cheated. Move out. It's my house. Okay. Um. I'll text you the next month's rent. Hey, wait. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. I'll wait, request. Wait, 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 I will request house. next month's rent. Wait, no emotions. Wait, <laughs> no, what it's unacceptable. You'll kick him out and make him pay rent? Oh, absolutely. Damn. And I did it, and I'll do it again. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So oh, so you kicked the guy out of his house? and My house. Okay, yeah. you pay. You, uh, you owned it. Oh, you it owned now. it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, but was it his originally? Seven. Always mine. They, it was we it was, split oh, it 60-40, oh, okay. and I was 60. So. Oh, okay. So then, yeah, then My he house. left, and that was it. Mm-hmm. And he still right. played rent. She ain't playing with him, man. <laughs> Wait, and he's still paying you oh, rent? Oh, he still pays me rent. I'm still, I get a check every month. Stupid. Oh, he got an alimony check? No, boy. What the fuck? Why is he paying you rent still? <laughs> because he agreed. We agreed to a 12-month release. He'll wow. be paying those 12 oh, months. Oh, Stop this playing a little. Bro. So, so Wait. he's paying rent for you yeah. to bring other dudes there the and smash them? Bring other, <laughs> yo, you bring other, <laughs> right. other guys You on the lease? Not yet. We I'll just sue your ass. ass. She definitely brings other guys there, but hey, no, man. Not, not yet. They just woke up. <laughs> City yeah. girls guys, just line up. Went up <laughs> in the yeah. DMs. Yeah. DMs. Yeah. DMs. President <laughs> Nikki. One hey, man. Hey, hey you're finessing them, man. You're finessing them. What's your Instagram? President Nikki, 1K, no Cs. All right, fellas, go ahead. Do your thing. Okay. I, I can relate to that scenario. So you've sucked some dude's dick as soon as you walked in the door, I guess? No, it's actually been on the opposite Worst. side. It's actually been me on the other side, me questioning, me being the one questioning and me getting those type of responses. <coughs> okay. And what I think about it is sometimes it's your ego. Um, maybe, maybe he cheated. Maybe he cheated on her and maybe he responded that way. So now she's just speaking out of her ego. Like, okay, I'm going to sit here and really act like I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I cheated on you. And what? You going to stay? Yep. I'm just speaking because <laughs> off of experience. Toxic. Yeah, th- I mean, there could be a backstory, but we, we don't know. Uh, yeah. So uh, what's, your, what's your take? Now you, you want to go first? Now you, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. You first. Damn it. <laughs> Should have waited. Yeah, I, I, oh. you, I've uh, been on a losing streak, so that was good. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> should I video, man? Real talk, I ain't gonna lie. Like her response is funny as hell because she has no accountability, doesn't really care, and it's more like, "Hey, yeah, I did it. Do, do I know why I did it? Here's my excuse." And it's like, "You feel sorry at all? Yeah, I'm sorry. No tears, nothing. You're right. Yep. No tears, nothing. It's just like, oh, whatever." But I would like to know. You know what? It, what was he doing in that scenario? Maybe he was just like chilling. You know what I'm saying, like not doing anything. But for her to do that out of the blue, I'm like, damn, is she mm. that much of a hoe to just like do that shit, or is it like retaliation to something that he did? We don't really know the backstory there, but like real talk, that's weird, bro. So it's weird. Um, I mean, I, I I'll bring up two things. So number one, the guy has to re- remove her from his life immediately, like. When a woman cheats on a man, it's 100% unacceptable. She's pretty much dead to you guys. And I want you guys out there that are listening to, to the podcast. You need to understand that when a woman cheats on you, she has to get to a certain place mentally to be able to do it where it's irreparable now. You know what I'm saying? I always say when a woman – if you cheat on a woman, it's not the same as – I mean, I would – it's not even cheating as a guy. It's exercising options. And I know some of you guys are going, oh, what the fuck? This is some fucked up shit. But I'll explain what I mean by that. 
women are not built to be promiscuous. They're just not. There's a reason why they can only can bring one child to term per year and you can father a million kids if you have a million women to bang. Like sperm and sheep eggs are expensive. So if a woman cheats on you, she has to get to a certain place mentally to do it. Mm -hmm. So if she does cheat on you, you need to break up with her immediately. There's no if, ands, or buts. Oh, I'll take her back. None mm -hmm. of that shit. You you get rid of her. And I'll tell you this. Every time I've heard a guy take a girl back, you know what happens? She cheats on him again. Mm -hmm. You want to know why? Because women love much differently than men do. She's got to respect you first, guys. And if she cheats on you, she effectively does not respect you anymore. Mm -hmm. And if you take her back, she definitely doesn't fucking respect you. <laughs> and she's going to cheat on you again. Because I agree. what you've told her when you take her back is, hey, listen, my value is so low as a man that the cardinal sin that you're committing against me, adultery, which is the one thing that men really give a fuck about when it comes to women. Let's be honest. Like, you cannot cook. You could be a shitty cleaner. You can not be the, the, the nicest woman, whatever it is. If you're attractive, and, and, and you'll find a guy. But if you cheat, that's what's going to burn every guy's soul. And I know some of you guys were like, why was he harping on it? Why was he asking so many questions? You guys want to know why? Because he truly loved that woman, and he was trying to find a reason to stay with her. That's why he had to ask those tough questions and let her hang herself so that he can go to his head and think, okay, she sucked another dude's dick and put it in his brain so it burns him. Because whether women want to accept it or not, a guy thinking in his mind that a woman is having sex with another dude or sucking another guy off, it burns in their brain. It, it just it just, it just, just sucks. You know what I'm saying? That's why porn stars can never have relationships, really. Because their husband will always see videos of them getting plowed by Jamal and seven other black dudes. They can't do it. They can't take it. So... BBC. Men look at women from a territorial standpoint. That is definitely a train. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Choo -choo. <laughs> so men look at women from a territorial standpoint. I know it sounds awful, but men tend to look at women as sex objects. Women tend to look at men as sex -ass objects. It is what it is. I don't make the rules. I just report them. So number one, if your girl cheats on you, she's dead to you. You break up with her because she had to get to a certain place. You guys mentioned emotional cheating. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other side, though. I think it's far easier for a woman to cheat than a man. I think women cheat far more than men. And I think women cheat anytime they open themselves up to be, to get attention and or courtship from other men. So if a girl's on Instagram showing her ass out or putting sexy pictures All up right. or going mm. out to the club or doing mm. anything. No. Yeah, that's fine. You guys can disagree with me, but cheating? I'm giving you. That's cheating? It's cheating? It is cheating. And I'll tell oh, you why. That's my job. Shit, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. You, you just said <laughs> you know if what? a nigga looks you at another. You are right. Yes. I can't absolutely. Say, I can't you know what you are? Because pick. you're putting yourself in that position to open the attention to other. Yeah, you know. To I can't post You just you're right. said you're right. if a nigga looks at a you're girl, right. he's cheating. Because I'm thinking about it as my confidence. I'm trying to make myself feel better. That's why I post pictures for me. Wait, did you just say if a girl posts pictures for you? You have post pictures for you? She's cheating. For me. She's cheating. Yes. Absolutely. I've been cheating the whole time on my husband because I'm an IG model. That's what I'm saying. Uh, he well, had to put it on it yet. So. Uh, that's so, business. I'm not gonna lie. Here's the like, thing. I click the link in my bio. Whatever, like, whatever yeah. you wanna, whatever your your guy <laughs> yeah. is acceptable with is acceptable with. But what I'm saying is that most guys they don't like that are not gonna accept it, and a lot of guys will be begrudgingly accept it. They'll be like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. Like for fear of you leaving them, or for fear of hearing a bunch of lip back talk or whatever the fuck, they'll say. It's okay. You can have your Instagram, or it's okay. You keep your pictures out, or it's okay. You can go to your girls' well, night out. Meanwhile, those are Most the bitches guys, that they're liking. Those are all the bitches that they're liking. Yeah, we the bitches smash. with their ass out. True. But you can't do but that. Not How are you gonna them. praise the bitches? <sighs> It's very strange. How are you going to praise the bitches with their ass out? Right. Comment on the bitches. Let's, go into, a, the let's bitches, go into a dream then... world. Okay, let's go into a dream world. Let's... All right. Let's say, let's say you go to, you, you want to buy a new car, right? <laughs> you go to the, you go to the, um, the dealership and uh, what, what, what's your favorite car? In you this never example? buy a new. A Benz. A Benz. Let's say you got the money and you want to buy a brand new one. It's your dream car. Right, a Benz. What C class, E class, S? I don't even know about cars. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll, we'll say <laughs> we'll say you want to buy a S class, the nice long, the big doctor one, right? You okay. want to be a fucking boss, the strong independent woman, one. right? Strong independent woman, right? So you buy the Mercedes, right? And you're like, fuck yeah, you buy it cash, hundred thousand dollars, right? You take it to the, you take it home, you're like, fuck yeah, you know, you, it lit, right? Zero mileage. Then the dealership guy comes back to you and tells you, hey, um. I know we sold you the car and everything, but would you be cool if you just kind of like leave it out on the front lawn and then if people want to kind of like come, come test drive it, they can come test drive it. Is that cool with you? What would you say? No. That's good. Nope. Yeah, because you paid the you paid it uh, full price and purchased the vehicle, right? 
<laughs> you see where I'm going with this, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So you would have an issue with that and you'd be, bring up some contention. Like, why the fuck am I letting other strange people see my car, drive my car? There's a for sale sign on it. That's how men feel women. Like, no guy wants to pay full price marriage or a serious relationship with a woman giving her your last name and a ring when other men are looking at it for free. What? Wrong. Looking is nothing. I can walk outside and somebody's going to look at me. Now, you can say wrong, but are you a man? I'm not. But okay. I That's an opinion. I feel like no, it's definitely well, here's the issue. different personality. It's the way that no, no, the woman no, 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 carries no. herself, too. Yes. No, no, no. Here's the thing, it's, ladies. Yes, true. Here's the thing. You're a fairly attractive woman. Are you aware of the fact that men are going to lie to you and say things that appease to your ego and make you feel a little bit better so that they can get laid? Are you aware of that? That they're not going to tell you uncomfortable truths like sure. this? That men tend to look at women from a property standpoint not to say that you guys mm -hmm. are property but I'm, if i had to, to, I had to right. use an analogy to some degree that's how men look <laughs> at women so they're gonna tell you that oh no i don't have a problem with that oh that's so uh archaic or that's so you know that's medieval time shit no it, it's since the beginning of time men have had serious issues with women that have promiscuous past that's why when a man marries a woman he's like hey i want a girl that has a low body count i want a girl that's young attractive whatever there's a bunch of reasons biological reasons for it just like you want a guy that's tall and makes money confident you know has excess resources to take care of you and your family a man wants a woman that doesn't have high mileage that's how it is so i don't like i said you don't have to like it but it's the truth if you lined up 100 guys and asked them would you be okay with your girl putting sexy pictures of herself on the internet they would say no. If you let them be in a silent room where no one's going to judge them or call them a misogynist or say they're toxic or an asshole, they're going of to course. say no. The reason why men don't speak like this, though, is because when you tell women this stuff, you get hit with the fucking... How dare you? You get canceled, yeah, you lose your you job, get no you get hit ass. with the misogyny, whatever it is. It's not misogynistic, it's realistic. Just like you want a man that makes a certain amount of money that's tall and, as, and, and athletic or whatever it is, men want women that aren't hoes for their wife. But so going back to what posting. you said... The, that's what you went back Pixel to like, oh, but they're liking pictures and shit like that. Hey, man, just because you have a favorite but candy doesn't is, mean that you can't hypocrite. eat other. You can't go and like that type of shit and then get mad if your significant Absolutely other you does can. that. Absolutely you can. No, you cannot. Why? Yes, you can. You can. Why, though? Okay. But I'm Are not going to respect Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Absolutely you can. Are there, have you guys ever been, yeah, she already knows. Hmm. Have you ever been on a date with a man that you have zero intention of having sex with? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Not yep. zero, but like, yes, sir. Okay. I don't know. Yes. Maybe. Okay, cool. Well, you know what? I've hung out and or like pictures of girls that maybe I smashed, but I have zero intention of wifing. Bam. Yeah. Yeah. Works both ways. Why is it okay for women to have a dual strategy when they deal with men, but not okay for men to have a dual strategy when we deal with women? There's women that are worth wifing, and then other girls you just want to fuck, and you would never wife. Just like you, there's men that you would never fuck, but there's dudes that you'll sit there and take their money and go on dates with them or sugar daddy, whatever it is. Mm. 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 <laughs> no my thing is like if we're talking about social media i feel like Merch. if you're going to like all the things on social media of bitches don't get mad when you're i i just feel like it's hypocritical that's just how I well feel. if you're gonna don't go out sit there and like if you're gonna comment, go hold on, hold on. that's gonna make your bitch feel like if we're gonna play that game then why don't go out on dates with, with men that you have zero intention of dating and or taking serious and play them string them along but you gotta i mean i don't them. go on dates like that i could feed myself that's weird I could just eat at but home. you have been on dates with men that you have zero intention not of having really. sex with, Not right? really. That's always the time. You, you like, what am yes. I getting out yes. of that food? You just said yes. You just said yes earlier. Which, no, which... I did not. Did I? Yes, you did. I said that? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Uh. So, you're, so you're just, you're just <laughs> arguing, arguing to argue. I don't remember. Arguing to argue. Arguing to argue. The, the point cool. is this. Like I said, men can have just wanting to have sex with a girl and then girls that you want to wife up just like women have dudes that they put in the friend zone and then dudes that they have sex with. Mm, men can play the, the game too the difference is this though very few men can do that that's why you're not used to it usually mm -hmm. women have the leverage and can do it let me friend zone this asshole let me date this guy let me fuck this guy let me make this guy pay for a bag very rarely mm -hmm. do you come across a man that do can do the same thing most guys mm -hmm. deal with women and, and have to be in a relationship out of necessity not because they want to be that's the difference so you had something i saw you that you had here you know, yeah, make, make um, I was going to bring up something in terms of like the sure. club, just like, it, cause it's, it's kind of in a relation. So, so in my sure. last relationship, um, cause, cause I, I like the club. I like to just be around people. I don't like to be alone for too long. And so I would go to the clubs a lot. He did not like the clubs. He just, he just didn't like being around people. So I was like, cool, I'll go by myself. Mm -hmm. And I would wear like crop tops and skirts or whatever. And then after a while, he's like, you know, I don't like that you're wearing that. And I'm like, okay, cool. 
Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I'm, I'm not going to make a big deal out Sounds of it. Sounds like a normal guy. And so I wore a a like extra large t-shirt and me being 5'2 and petite, super b- baggy on me, boyfriend jeans. And I, I like didn't put on makeup and guys still try to hit on me and i told him and he was just like well it's because you know you're you're dressed like that and i was like well i'm i'm literally in baggy clothes i'm not showing off my body the shirt comes up to my neck i don't really have makeup on i'm just going to listen to music and dance like around people and so so what what would be your opinion on that situation with were you married to him at the time no i wasn't you wasn't but Mm -hmm. you guys were in a serious relationship yeah if you truly respect and love him you wouldn't go out yeah, but why and not though? Yeah. So? Because the thing is, is that for <laughs> women, all right. Was this cave age? <laughs> no, it's 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 simple. No, it's, I, I just I legitimately want to like. Yeah, know, like, I mean, why. I, I mean, Jeez, here's the thing. He invited him. It, it it's it's simple. Like, okay, are men and women the same? I'll I'll make this uh, come to try to come to a logical conclusion. Are men and women the same? No, they're not. Okay, is it far easier for women to have sex? Yes. So wouldn't it make sense that it's far easier for women to cheat? Yes, Since it's easier but we for had you. different reasons to. Yeah, but it does not change the fact that you still are cheating. I mean, the so, point. So, so I mean, we could we could we could talk about the origin and everything else, but like it is far. The threshold for cheating for a woman is far less than a man because here's the thing: women mm-hmm. like to use male standards when it benefits them, but they also like to use uh, female standards when it benefits them. In other words, you want to say, "Well, I'm not cheating because I didn't fuck anybody else." No, no, no. That's the male standard because for us, it's hard to get sex. Okay. For you, however, saying. it's easy. So you can't use a male metric of cheating. When it's far easier for you to get sex. Yeah, the ratio. No, yeah, I get that. Because, like, I mean, because yeah. there's such things as, like, micro-cheating. And so that, that's why I was wanted to ask your opinion. Because, like, so, so are you saying that going, if you're in a relationship and you're going out, like, like that by yourself or with your friends, that it's considered cheating because you're technically making yourself more accessible? Yes, because since women yes. don't approach men, you guys don't approach men. You guys approach by proxy. And what I mean by that is dressing up sexy, putting yourself in situations where men can approach you, mm-hmm. men can talk to you, whatever. And men are never going to tell y'all this. You, you don't, again, you don't have to, I see you making faces. You don't have to like what I'm saying, but it's the truth. Like, if you're a woman in a relationship with a man and you seriously love, admire, and respect him, you would not go out. You wouldn't even Wait, want him. Wait, what so if you're going listen, out with that's him, That's not though. true. If you go out with go, him, that's what fine. What if that's something that you enjoy as a person? So I'm supposed to stop being who I am to appease your ego? That is very strange. Go out And where? I don't feel like I, that's, that's right. Because I wouldn't out. do that too. If if my man enjoyed going out and I wanted to stay home, that's one thing. I would you, stay home and let him go out. You and him are not the same though. Whatsoever. Okay, so what makes us different? Because I have a vagina? Yes. It so actually, I can't have fun. Man's a lot. I got to sit in the house with his big 2X t-shirt on. Don't post. So anything. you enjoy. Don't so, post nothing. No, no. Listen. So what can I do? That's <laughs> a. All right. So first of all, so you get home first. First, kids, it's like his dick when you get. Okay, uh, I'm girls, just making girls, sure. Girls, girls, girls. Please listen <laughs> no. and stop shaming because it's two different things. Are you are you listening? Or are you shaming? Who's talking? Yeah, it's Chris. <laughs> Well, like, again, <laughs> okay, Mark, no, I'm asking. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm just trying to. Uh, number one, I'll speak with her. So, like, can you please stop cutting oh, me off bad. when I'm I, speaking to her? I apologize. Her? Yeah. Thank you. So, so you were saying, I'm just being honest, like, like what I'm saying is that if you're in a relationship with a guy, like, you shouldn't be going out to clubs and putting yourself in social situations where cheating can happen. Yeah, I, I, to- I totally get. Most what guys are just about. not going to tell you that though because they don't want to get hit with what these girls are doing right now, what which if- is like, oh. What if it's your job? Like, what if you have to make what is that? What is that supposed appearances to mean? Appearances, and you gotta go what is, on. What does that supposed to mean? Huh? Question. Okay, right after uh, uh, her, and then you got her something. Then you, I, I got you. Go ahead. Uh, I mean, no, you, you answered like what I was trying to get at. Already. It probably bothered him from the beginning. Mm-hmm. It just it took him a while to muster up the curse to tell you like, yo, stop doing that shit. Mm-hmm. And then he told you, and then you changed the way you dress, but it didn't change anything because men know deep down, dudes are gonna come up to you and talk to you no matter what you wear. That's why they don't want you out. Yeah, but then am I supposed to, like, hide all the time? Because, like, you know, because cause when me and him were together, guys would hit on me even though we're together, like, right next to each other. And I'm just like, I, I can't I can't hide all day. I can't, like, you know, like, DoorDash groceries Yeah, and but you can, also, you can also mitigate risk, too. No, yeah. I, I, that, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I understand what you're saying. Like, when me and him go out, usually, like, I'm not dressed up unless, like, he wants me to because like he'll he'll be like oh yeah like we're yeah, dressed if you're with you him bought, if you know? you're with him and you go out that's fine yeah but you should be with him so, like it, like i agree the, like I agree. The, <laughs> like the thing is is that i'm gonna just i'm just gonna fucking say it. i don't care listen <laughs> the thing is this women don't like being they, y- y'all want to have a boyfriend right or y'all want to be y'all want to get married but you don't want to be wives you don't want to do what's required to keep a man 
You want to be able to still be strong and independent and go out, show your body off, get attention from random dudes, keep your Instagram up. You want to be able to exercise um, your your privileges as a woman, right? Like a single woman, but you want to be able to come home to a man. And what I'm saying is that it's okay. Be single if you want to do that. But no self-respecting man should accept that is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Because men have to bring so much more to a relationship than a woman does. And you guys can get mad at me if you want. But we can go ahead and put the calculator up. And I guarantee you all you guys are going to have very high standards with men. So since men have to bring so much Absolutely. to the relationship and so much standards, whether how much money they make, status, etc., I tell guys, you don't request, you demand women operate a certain way if they want a relationship with you. If they want to be single, they can. That's fine. Be single, go to the club, do what you want. But if they're in a relationship with you, you need to have certain rules and boundaries that she's got to adhere to. And if she doesn't, she can be single. I'm not saying you have to do this. No. I'm I... just saying that if you're in a if a guy's in a, if a woman's in a relationship with a guy, She's got to respect him. And respecting him comes with not putting yourself in compromising situations to the relationship. Yeah, but then but then that respect has to go both ways. Like going off of what you were saying with like the Instagram post. Like like for me, that that's what my ex did a lot. And I, I told him I was like, Look, I know like you're never gonna meet them, you know, whatever. You're just looking at them and there's nothing wrong with thinking other people are attractive. Cause I know that that's gonna happen, whether or not you say it out loud. But it's the fact that I'm like telling you, like, hey, it kind of makes me not feel good because those girls are really like thick and curvy and i'm i'm asian i'm petite i don't got a, a, you know a fat ass big titties or anything that's, you know that's a conversation that you guys have to have a, and, and no yeah and we, we did have a conversation about it and i told him i was like that doesn't make me feel comfortable it's just because that makes me feel like you're not actually attracted to me mm. and so but then it's okay if it's like the other way around though like that, it that's is. what i'm saying like, it is because a one woman is never going to be able to to quench a man's insatiable thirst for sex period that's an uncomfortable truth no man will ever tell you I'll say that one more time. No one woman will ever be able to quench a man's insatiable thirst for sex. But to, have you have you like never met a woman like that? Because a lot of the relationships I've been in, the man variety. has not been able to men want have variety. sex with me enough. No, men want variety. No, yeah, variety for sure. That's why I'm Spice saying like, you could be the most beautiful woman ever, but he's going to want a blonde. He's going to want a girl with dark hair. He's going to want a Latina. He's going to want an Asian girl. He's going to want... And the thing is this. The higher status he has and the more money he has and whatever the more he's going to be able to exercise those options. The less status he has, the less he'll be able to. The more Most guys are monogamous out of necessity. But if a guy has the ability to not be monogamous, he's probably going to exercise those options, whether you know it or not. So should a guy be allowed to not ma like continue to be monogamous if he's like in a relationship? Like are you saying like, oh yeah, you know, I got high status, I got money, you know, I've got a great figure, whatever, but I got a girl that I love. But because of my status and like where I'm at in my life, I'm going to continue to go and fuck all these other girls. You want to know something mind-blowing? A man can love you and have sex with other girls. Mm -hmm. Facts. I know that you can't fathom that because women can't do that, but men can. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. Yeah, it's not, hard I guess. Truths, it's it's, I, it's not, painful it's truths. It's not, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's an uncomfortable truth. truth. A man can 100% love you and have sex with other women because we look at sex strictly if, so as then, a physical act. But then if that's the case, then then why? Because like, okay, yeah, you a guy. So if I'm a guy, oh, I, I, I love you so much. My dick is hard, though, for this other girl. I'm going to go fuck her real quick. Um, oh, and now you found out you're going to leave me? Fuck. What am I? I'm going to cry now. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, not it's not, not the fact of you being able to still love a woman and have sex with other Has women. a man ever broken up with you? Yes. Once? Mm -hmm. How many times have you broken up with okay, guys? Okay, well, actually, a couple times. A couple? Obviously. They I, broke up with you? Mm hmm Okay, so I'll say this. That's a rare situation. Most women broke up with, break up with guys. Yeah, I mean, I've broken up with guys, like, more than a guy has broken up with me. So, if that's the answer you're looking for. The point I'm trying to make is if a guy goes and has sex with another girl and he's with you, he's probably still not going to break up with you. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. He's going to keep you on the team. If if you provide enough value. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. So, men and women don't look at sex the same. So, and another thing, too. Yeah, you should have that conversation with your guy. But if you're going to deal with a guy that makes money, a guy that has mm -hmm. status, whatever, you're going to have mm -hmm. to share him. That's another uncomfortable truth that women don't like to accept. If a dude makes money, he's good looking, whatever, you're probably going to have to share him. Sexually. I doubt it. Sexually. Look at the big greats like like LeBron James and his wife. You got, you think LeBron James... Nigga, First, you want to destroy her dream right now? But LeBron I'm James. saying... Nigga, I can put some... <laughs> there's big... big hold up, hold up. Hold on. I can put some footage right now to <laughs> destroy your argument. You know, no, baby. Listen, niggas are niggas. They're going to do what they do. Niggas are not. Make. <laughs> but there's some good men out there because I don't want to... You can't just bash Where are they? <laughs> they are there. Who? Somewhere in the light. No, tell me who. In the light. Who? 
Tell me I who. ain't even gonna say these. Go- there's gossip men out there. See, there's we tell the truth on the male beans. side and the female side. There's we don't heavenly cap- beings out there. I believe in. I, I don't want to. I don't want to sound like an asshole, but you live in a Disney fairy tale. LeBron is definitely oh, smashing other girls. <laughs> Oh, that's God. a funny that fact. A I, I, I that's didn't a want to say fact. I, I, I didn't say it low, but you, you I'll said say it. Low. I'll, I'll say it. The basketball players are the worst. But hold, but hold on. Okay, so you, you have a question, right? Well, she had some too first. She, go ahead. She has some. No. Okay. No, never mind. Me? No, you go ahead. Yeah, go ahead then. Um. All right. So here, here's my question. Sure. What type of woman are you into? Me? Mm-hmm. Personally. Are we? Oh shit! Uh, are we gonna put me on the spot here? <laughs> like, what are you? Are we talking from a looks perspective or personality perspective? Sure. Let's start with looks. I mean, attractive. I mean, I don't really discriminate. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I have certain things that I don't like, but I mean, we don't have to so get into that. No, get into attractive. it. Yeah, yes. yeah attractive. Speak yeah. to okay. my place. Yeah. What size is attractive to you? What size? Oh, shit. Yeah. Shit, y'all, y'all, y'all trying to get me a, a, a girlfriend here or something? I'm just wondering. I mean, uh... <laughs> She said yes. Where, where, where are we getting with this? Because if I if I'm I describe, wondering, like, what's your ideal like woman size? Well, is this you asking this or is this her this asking? This is me this asking. That's this. Asking we're a team. <laughs> 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 All right, let her let her ask her question right, and then right. we can go to you. All right, go so ahead. you said attractive. So let's say a very attractive. Thank you. So they can hear supermodel you. looking. Woman sure. Sure. Yeah. Wants to be your girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. We're talking like Victoria's Secret supermodel. Sure. Are you going to ask her to take all of her photos down? She can't be a model anymore. She has to sit home, cover her body. Or are you going to make her a trophy wife? So that's a good question. So number one, I wouldn't wife a Victoria Secret model like at all. I would not. I would not do that. Because the thing is this. Okay. Sports Illustrated. I the only. Maxim. I, I would not. And I'll, and I'll tell you why. There's I'll tell options. you why. When I, I, the, I would not. When I when if I'm gonna get married to a woman, I already know in the back of my mind I'm getting married to a woman for the sole purpose of children. There's really no other reason to get married to a woman as a man in 2021 unless you want to have children. So Adriana Lima sad. wants to have a child with you, and you're gonna say no. I don't know who that is. Okay. But uh, a, yeah. but the thing is, is that <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know Never who mind. that is. But no, <laughs> she's pretty hot, but <laughs> she wants the streets. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um so beauty comes second to the woman's character because this is going to be the mother of my children mm-hmm. so because here's the thing what looks i'm into attractive woman of course okay but now you're talking brains not beauty no character character okay. mm. character doesn't necessarily have okay. to have to have to deal with her gotcha. her intelligence mm-hmm. i'm looking for a woman that's going to be a good mother to my children and a big part of her being a good mother to my children is she can't have a past she can't have a past. A woman that has a past no longer qualifies to be in my future with my you? children. Mm-mm. 31. 31? So yeah. what are we talking about? Like 19 and under is what you're looking at? Because yeah, like... But what if her past is her testimony? Right. <laughs> People... Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, well, she can, like, well she can go testify in another court, not mine. Are you going to look like... for a 30-year-old version? <laughs> yeah. What are we talking about? No. Here? We're, well, here's the thing. I'm, I'm going to date a woman <laughs> definitely between somewhere between the ages of 18 to 24. 18 to okay. 24. You think 18 is okay for you? Yes. Like freshly 18? Yes. As it's, a 31 year old? Yes. Fresh and fit. Wow. Well, yeah. Interesting. It's, it's, it's legal. What's, and, wrong, uh, what's when, wrong with that? Why does he on the 18th it. birthday does it all change? Cause, you think the mental legal. is completely different? Just I coming because I'm like the youngest one in this room. So I'm just curious. Depends. Are you aware of the fact that men are attracted to women for far different reasons than women are attracted to men? I don't understand that. Okay, what are men attracted to in women? Because I want to see if you know. I was just asking you, what size of woman do you like prefer? Okay, well, I'll, I'll answer that here in a second, but okay. going back to you. So you were saying, so um, where were we? So I was just saying, yeah, so a woman's beauty comes second to her character. Mm-hmm. So in other words, I'm going to take a woman that doesn't have a past that's attractive enough mm-hmm. to be the mother of my children. Because at the end of the day, looks fade, but character stays. But without a past, how could you develop character? Wow. I agree. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, character comes from what you went through, the trials and the testings that you've been through in life. You can't develop character if you don't have a past. What? Don't go to dicks. So no, how could you go for a woman? <laughs> no, she character, can, she, that she character, character can be developed from her being with a good family, from her father teaching her how to be a good woman, to be, to be a good... To, to, she becomes a good daughter under his authority and then... She comes to me as a as a good woman, and then from there she goes under my but leadership. I'm going to be what, what honest with you. Everybody leadership. has a past. 
Yeah, what is Everyone. this past that you're talking about? That you talking not, about like past that does not mean that I have like... to. That does not mean that, that I have to tolerate it. I'm not marrying yeah. a woman that that has a promiscuous past. Period. Okay, for so marriage. Promiscuous, promiscuous for marriage. Yeah, past. for marriage. That's, that's a whole that's, different story. Well, ladies, ladies, you guys got to understand that when we're talking about that, we're talking about her past sexuality. Like, if okay. if it's gonna be the uh, the the woman that's gonna be <clears throat> the mother of my kids, I'm gonna screen extremely hard for that. But sometimes people with the most like the worst like um past like the most promiscuous or whatever you want to say like that been through the worst torment develop the most character and they become the best vessels of honor that walk around earth they you can, understand they can stay over there mm. nope <laughs> about that. yeah i'm saying there. like there's, there's, there's so several out there. there are several studies that show that the higher a woman's uh previous partner count <laughs> the higher the propensity for her to divorce and or not be a dutiful wife and i'm saying there's so too. many people out there that's been through the worst <laughs> torment and fear growing up they probably got raped but these people grow up to be the best vessels of honor they walk around earth they're strong powerful okay. people you know right. so i'm just gonna make this very simple if if i told you jump out of a, a plane your parachute has a 10 percent chance of deploying would you jump out of the plane no. i wouldn't do anything that i wouldn't be led to do you know okay i'm, I'm asking a very simple question <laughs> if you are going to jump out of a plane with a parachute right and i told you the parachute only has a 10 percent chance of deploying which means it has a 90 percent failure rate would you jump out of the I plane? Wouldn't. You would not, right? No. Okay. So it would be stupid for me to take a chance, even though it's possible that I could find a woman with a trauma in her past and everything that could be a good wife. It'd be stupid for me to take the chance and wife her up and then come in the next day and see her sucking my friend's dick and then saying, oh, oh wow. my God, fuck. And then she can divorce me and take all my money and my resources and everything else and take the kids away from me mm -hmm. because I wanted to operate on a possibility instead of a probability. And she also gets alimony. That's but there's sweet. very few people out there. You know, I'm saying few. There's a okay, few. well, we don't operate on possibilities. We operate on probabilities. It'd be very stupid of me to tell guys, okay, you know what, man? Even if a girl has a past, accept her and take the risk. No, men bring have way too much risk when it comes to marriage to make stupid decisions like that. You know, but like, it's not every day you're going to find a wife who's perfect, who has this perfect life, who grew up like... I'm not saying she got to be perfect. I'm saying she's got to be <laughs> she damn near is. perfect, though. What yeah. the fuck? She needs to be freshly 18. But the most perfect people Nobody's are the ones that perfect. went through the testimony, that went through the... No, but... Um, Guys, so this is a perfect example, and, and I'm not saying this to like make you it... Because I kind of let you drone on there, and, and the point, the, this is what I've noticed when... Because we've interviewed hundreds of women now at this point. And don't worry, you'll get your chance to, to ask your questions. <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting for mine, too. The, like, like, like women get to get the privilege of operating in Disney fairy tales. So everything you've mentioned is an exception to the rule. Maybe you could find this. Maybe you could find that. It's possible. Because it's possible. I like to look well, hold on, well, hold on, hold on, Let me finish. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. That's the difference between men and women. We have to operate in a fact-based reality. So if I'm a lion, right? Someone can't tell me, hey, man, you know what, dude? I'm sure there's a gazelle out there for you somewhere. You'll be able to eat. Don't worry about it, man. It'll come to you. Don't worry. It's just going to come. No, I got it. You got to tell the line the truth. Hey, you're going to have to stalk your prey late at night. You're going to have to hide in the water. You're going to have to, you know, use like three other uh, lionesses with you and attack this lion, this, uh, this uh, gazelle together, you know, as a team. You have to understand uncomfortable truths and unflattering realities to increase your likelihood of winning because life isn't fair and life isn't sunshine and rainbows. But there's also people But, there. hold on. All right. <laughs> as an attractive young woman, you get the benefit of operating in a Disney fairy tale. Men don't, though. That's the faith that I have. I'm just a faithful person. But you're, you, you're in a privileged position because men come to you. You understand? Men come to you. So you're in a position where the guys come to me. I can kind of, eh, it's just happening. Men don't get that privilege. They have to go out there. They have to become, they have to make the money. They have to become successful. They have to gain the confidence. They have to get in shape. And then they have to vet the woman to make sure she's not going to come in and fuck up and destroy the kingdom that they built. And maybe, you know. And and operating on maybes and possibilities and it could happen and should have or whatever. Nah, man, we don't, we don't teach that here. We teach guys, increase your likelihood of success every single time. So how do you increase your likelihood? Deal with a woman that doesn't have a past so she won't fuck up your future. Period. That's a different mindset. That's a mindset that I don't well, roll with. Well, you're a woman. That's why. You don't have to worry about these things because I you're not dealing with women. Your job is to find the best guy that can take care of you and your future offspring. Our job is to find the best woman that can 
hold it onto that offspring and not fuck up our future I in the process. Like, Merch. I feel like when, Merch. when it comes to finding a guy, the woman don't really have to look. I feel like the guy will always come to the woman. Exactly. Yeah, of when it comes to finding your husband, you ain't even got to go out there and search. The husband Which proves will my always point. come to the woman. Which you know? proves my point. But what you don't know is that husband has to go through trials and tribulations to get to that point where he's even appealable to you as a potential husband. That's, That's the difference. Mm -hmm. And women go through the trials and tribulations too. Mm. Yeah, but ho hoeing <laughs> around <laughs> is not tribulation. Yeah, That's just no. being a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't right. really say. So, so she was talking, and and you kind of just cut her off there. Oh my bad. I'm so, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but we, I just wanted to go on there just to kind of prove my point that like men and women live different realities. I could never have that mindset as a guy and be successful. It's just gonna come to me. Whatever. Like, it can't. Guys can't be that way. Yeah, well, guys definitely Continue. put in work. Um. Kind of throwing me off the topic, but I think what uh, my question we're discussing how was, how uh, a, a, no, uh, her looks are not as important as the future. She was um, asking. Uh, oh well, I just want to go back to no, the no, original. She, no, no. she didn't finish. Fresh. She didn't finish. Oh, she didn't, oh, she didn't, she didn't finish. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So the point was, you're into attractive women. Penis, please. And you guys speaking to Mike? Yeah. There you go. You're into <laughs> you're into attractive women, and there was a scenario of you being with a very successful powerful beautiful supermodel yeah are you going to have her sit home cover her body take her instagram down or are you going to be proud of who she is i wouldn't marry her in the first place okay. i wouldn't marry her in the first it's place simple, that's yeah. that's yeah that's 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 the thing i wouldn't a woman like that wouldn't be a good candidate as 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 a wife and more importantly mother of my children and I'm willing to sacrifice a notch or two in beauty mm -hmm. for the long the, the the long standing benefit of her being a good mother to my children. That that talking, takes precedence we're not, over We're not everything. just talking beauty here. We're talking about Oh, like her her well, you mentioned strong and independent in income, right? Money? Anything. Would it be fair to say that men don't care about a woman's income? Oh trust me, they do. I know they that do. sounds shocking. <laughs> Some, it says it. In the Bible, it does says men are the providers. So why would the men care about what the women is providing? When yeah, that, providing? that's 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 we the really truth. This is not Bible days. No, no twenty twenty one. No, no, no. I get that. They care. Bible. Ladies, ladies. You know, the end times, uh, I'll, I'll tell you this. And this is this is also something that is not commonly stated, but <laughs> yo, the more yo Trey's cracking up. Yeah, <laughs> Bible verses. <laughs> Trey, you okay, yeah. man? <laughs> Pastor Trey in the back. Uh, Am I uh, the first person to mention the Bible on the show? No, no, no. no we no, brought no. it up plenty of times All right. and other religious scriptures too. Uh, I, I know, and I know this sounds crazy, but like guys, really, like the more money a man makes, the less he cares about how much money a woman makes. If I'm that gonna be sense. one thousand with mm -hmm. you, look at look at any celebrity, athlete, musician, whatever it is, who's with them, a young, attractive girl, mm -hmm. like her status and her money comes second to her beauty. Like men look at for women, look at women for far different things than women look for at men. For women, a man's status and independence and strength and power matters. For men, it doesn't. As a matter of fact, I would argue the more powerful and more money a woman makes, the, the more it hurts her potential to find a mm -hmm. guy. And if the yeah, guy actually facts. cares about your it's money, facts. that's a red flag because that guy flag, yeah. is probably broke as shit. Mm -hmm. It's not caring, but I feel like guys do... Girls are very like, where's the money, where's the money? So mm -hmm. guys are already like, bitch, are you broke or not? Like, already coming into Here's the difference. talking to you. You live in Miami, right? Yes. How many... Uh, Dumb bimbos have you seen that are hot as fuck that don't bring nothing to the table a around lot. with athletes and shit? A lot. That proves my point. I men really agree. don't care about how much money a woman makes. If she's hot enough, men Unless will sit there. Unless they're broke themselves. They want to use you, basically. Mm. If they want to use you, they care about how much money you make. That makes sense. They'll, they'll eat off you. That's true. Pl yeah. play a game with you. They'll do what Cause, you do. Because you, your immediate yeah. knee-jerk reaction was to say, no, that's not true. And I was like... <laughs> no, I agree when with you. When the woman makes more money than him, then he's definitely like going to be anxious about it and going to feel insecure about it. Yo. No. Yes, yes 100%. Listen, my homegirl, she got a new job. She mm -hmm. told her boyfriend she got a new job. The new job was paying more than his job. Do you know that that man quit his job? He was working four years in the hospital because she made more money than him. So he can go find another job that paid more. That's how it's insecure okay, he well, was. I feel like it should be that, that she way. made more money than him. I feel like you should. Like and if your girl strange. doing better than you, what the fuck? You better. But step that's it up. still weird. I mean, yes, but that's another level. You're gonna quit. Women are incapable yeah, no, of leading men in, a, in the confinements of relationship. Period. <laughs> what do you men mean? lead, women follow. It doesn't work the mm. other way around. I, I wouldn't I agree, to disagree. especially when I make the more money. Like, are you I with that disagree. guy now? No. Exactly. 
So uh, that's <laughs> a, like, you know what I'm saying? You, you guys can try to fight me on it because it sounds mm-hmm. crazy, but it's the truth. Reality women don't sucks. look for women don't look for a guy that's at their level or below. Typically, women want a guy who's above them in everything. Confidence, Period. income, height, strength. <laughs> Women don't look for an equal. They look for a superior if I'm going to be all the way 1,000. Because want someone who can teach us something. Why exactly. would you want to be with someone who can't teach you anything? Exactly. And financial <laughs> security gonna take care is, of a, very important. is a large component the of that. The shouldn't be taking care of the man. Yeah. It just doesn't work. We, we, we lie to each other and say, oh. respect him. I want a guy that like we men lie to women all the time and say, I want a strong, independent woman that makes her own money. That's fucking cat, man. They're just trying to get <laughs> laid. They're just trying to get laid. So anything else on that? Um, I don't know, but I wouldn't necessarily agree with all of that. Um, agree with what? Um, what do you disagree I know with? A, a lot of powerful women in the industry and mm-hmm. celebrities, women celebrities, sure, don't look for men that are taller, more successful, more money than them. They actually go the other way. And they they date guys that make less money than them and have less status. Well, that are Wait, sorry, not uh, famous uh, or uh, can you name two of them? Nicki Minaj. No, uh, what? Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, once again, oh, God. like, that is an exception. And even if, okay, <laughs> let's say we go down that road, right? Think about this. Why are they doing that? Control. They want to have control over the man. But let's brill here. Does that normally work? Not really. And, like you said. I mean, this whole conversation is, is yeah. defunct because we're mentioning celebrities. Yeah. Which is a small percentage of society. Mm-hmm. If you line up 100 women, right, they're going to want a guy that is better than them in every aspect. Mm-hmm. So we can use celebrities and everything else like that, but I guarantee you these women that you're mentioning that are like, oh, they're powerful and they're dating a guy that's below them. I guarantee you they're older, divorced, probably been left by a guy that was higher status or whatever, and now they're like, fuck that, and they find a guy that's, they they, they kind of have to settle because their value isn't as high. I think a part of it is wanting someone normal as well. You don't. If you're in the industry, sometimes you just want that normalcy of having someone who's cap, not. Cap. Um, no. It's real. Work. Girls work off of emotions. Like, no. Like, if you busy and I'm busy, bitch, when the fuck we gonna see each other? Like, it'd be like that. It'd be like that sometimes. The last thing a woman wants is a guy that is less busy than her. Okay. If she's busy and she's making money and shit, she wants to come when home come to home, a dude and yeah. he ain't working or he's not as busy as her. She don't care about the money. Just like you, know, you said, guys, guys don't date certain women are, for are money you, are you living because on they have money Earth? with all due respect yeah, are you? You li- i i am and and what i've noticed is that women t- take a women large with stake. money <clears throat> women, women with, with money, money care even more about a guy to make money no yes there, there's a small yes. percentage. they have the mo- hold, on, hold on no no there's a small percentage of girls like that I'm that saying. don't want a guy with money they just want a guy to come. You're come always making me happy. I have the money already. No, I, I know you some know girls I mean? just like that. Like they don't care about the money at all. But it's a small percentage, very small. Yeah. Very, where do you very, very get small. the percentage from? Like, where do you get this information from? Because the average girl doesn't studies. want that. We're not just talking out our ass. Yeah. We, we, we like, actually is it have... in your brain? Yeah, y'all no, always studies. Have mentioned we have, we have we have studies. All the links books? where we talk the about this are research. We're not just here talking shit, man. Like we've interviewed hundreds of women. Yeah. And you can say I don't care about a guy's money. Okay, maybe you're an exception to the rule, which I think that's highly small percent, capped. Small percent. No, I'm not saying me. I'm just speak. I'm just saying women s- with money. So you're talking about a We're small minority of women, like a, a 1% of some, women. You're saying that they want to control them because they don't have money. It's about control. It's about them being older small or whatever. Percentage, man. Sometimes it's about just having normalcy in a life of mm-hmm. chaos. Like, but that It's not always about... So here's the thing. What you're mentioning is statistically insignificant. Yeah, it oh, has, okay. has no value because the general population isn't like that. Got it. So we're talking to the masses here, or not? You're talking about one percent. Yeah, yeah, less yeah, than pretty that. Much, pretty much. L- yeah. l- less than that. But uh, let me. Oops, hell, do you prefer a man that makes more money than you? Absolutely. Yeah. I want it equal. Absolutely. Yes. Equal or it doesn't really matter. Equal or higher. Equal or <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter to okay. me, honestly. But bare minimum equal. Yeah. Equal or higher. Yeah. See, now you're trying to change it up. But no, if, uh, yeah. I was just speaking for. <laughs> Well, here, hey, it's it's fine, sorry. y'all, y'all. But here's the thing, y'all are saying equal. Do you think any of the guys here in the room, hey, do you care how much your girl makes? Nope. Hell no. Really? No, man. Hell no. Hey, Even listen. if it's you more want than bums, you. Listen, like, uh. no. I care if she gives sex to me mm-hmm. on a daily basis if I want it. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. That's <laughs> like you know, cook food. You give guys sex. are complicating it, man. Sex and food. That's all, right. all you gotta do. And and sometimes, hey, shut the fuck up and let me just say in peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, real quick. Super okay. chats, real quick. <laughs> not saying you guys shut the fuck up, but he's saying like, <laughs> no, I know. yeah, yeah. 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 silence mad. is very important for men. Okay, what's the chat saying? I want, I want and then, yeah, the and then I'll, I'll, uh, then I'll give it to you here because I know you have son too. So fear, uh, fear is, is the greatest, greatest motivator. motivator. Slayed my first big girl, boys, a whopping 250 <laughs> pounds, and I'm 160 pounds. And I'm um, uh, NGL. Not gonna, not gonna lie. lie. Not gonna lie. Myron, can you do a video on back strength and core strength? Because my whole back sore. <laughs> I need oh, that too. Lord. I need Zetians, that. Sheesh. 50 bucks. Why do women always turn to the man must have done something? Even if her husband was trash, why didn't she simply have when she could cash out on alimony, etc.? It is so hard to accept that she was a 304 just like Princess Leia gone to. Fuck goth. you. First of all, I'm originally a goth. The Princess Leia is, you know, the signature look. Yo, for real, what is Granny's Facebook? LOL, damn, I've been in DSG to d too damn long. Gum, ga gum, gum, Gatling. Okay. Hey, fan, shout out to you, man. No yeah, shout out to you, bro. DSG. Oh, shout out to Zentians. Uh, shout out to MM fan. Uh, oddly, Noel, depending on the state, the video might come in handy for divorce proceedings. If he's in a community <laughs> property state, he's fucked. Doesn't matter if she told 5,000 lies and 10K uh, train. What? Chris, oh sorry, your mouse is in the way. Trains oh, ran. Trains okay, ran. Oh, and God. then uh, <laughs> coexist and let live. Uh, accountability is a woman's kryptonite. Y'all want to sleep with a hundred dudes and still be considered pure. Mm. Bottom line: if you have to lie about your body count, it means you're ashamed. So don't do it. Always be honest. Okay, no, don't. Uh, I would argue women don't ever tell your guy his body count. If I'm going to give girls some game, uh, fifty bucks. Just say Thank three. <laughs> Five. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I, I would say don't even tell him. <laughs> Any number is going to be too high. Uh, 50 bucks. Abel Batista. Thank you, Fresh and Fit, for opening my eyes to the true nature of modern women. Leave uh, leave them in the streets. They for recreational use only. Oh, shit. Uh, 10 bucks. Could the car slash women analogy be confirmed by years of men talking about cars with feminine connotation? She runs like a charm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, and then that's legendary. from uh, Legendary. And then Marcel 10 bucks. The Marcel the Investor. And then 10 bucks from Xavier Foster. I sleep with a chick fast, but I'd never marry a fast chick. Mm -hmm. Oh, simple as that, ladies. That's the market. Very true. That was a very good one, quote right there. One little sentence <laughs> there, yeah. Uh, Deep. Okay, cool. So you had something? Go ahead. Oh, I was just wondering, like, what is your ideal body weight for it when you look for it in women? I mean, she can't be fat, man. She's got to be. What is fat to you? Uh, Wait, sorry, Martin. Uh, overweight. Before we uh, start this, this uh, next segment, yeah. we only we have almost seven k people watching. It. Only how many likes? We got two. Oh, points. we got to get the fucking likes oh, up, man. Two point eight k likes. Yeah, Come we got it. Yeah, guys, guys, we got to get it up to at least what six thousand. Well, no, yeah. <laughs> right now we're at uh, literally guys two point eight k. That's it. Get us a Come on, guys. Likes. Right. Free, man. So this is what we're gonna do. Likes. We're gonna stop the show. We're gonna turn it over to the ladies. We're gonna let uh, have them plug their stuff, their Instagrams, Five whatever it is that they got going on. And if you can sing, you can sing right now. Yeah, this is the part where you guys can sing if you want to sing. I know. Okay, <laughs> so ready? she'll go last. So all right, oh, no, I got something. Sorry, to say. I tried, but you like you niggas, you know, are, are slipping. Yeah. Well, uh, somebody had something real fast. I was gonna sing. Something. Okay. Yeah, we'll have you go last when you sing. All right. Uh, all right cool. So uh, we'll start. Where can they find here. you? Where can the people find you? What's your Instagram? Website, everything? Website, company, anything you want. Yeah, whatever you want to plug. Only We're going to shamelessly plug and sell things until hug. they get the likes up. Until six, we need 6,000 likes, guys. Um, find me at Instagram, J-O-V-A-N-A underscore Montenegro. All right. Anything else you want to plug? Are you, said, are you like a strong independent model? You want to tell <laughs> them they can find you or something Not like strong that? Strong Not a girl. <laughs> yeah. Course. No, for you? No. That's it. That's it? Okay. That's it. What about you? Go oh, ahead. Um, Where can they find your weed uh, building so they can ask you you want to smoke? <laughs> um, you can come to the joint of Miami. You could put it on maps. The joint of Miami in Wynwood. You can follow me on Instagram at Jane Doe, J-A-N-E-D-O-Zero-E. And do, they can't ask you, do you want to smoke and chill, right? That's not a good Definitely. Line. No, I smoke and chill every day. It's just, no. Okay. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, well, you'll go last. Go ahead. Um, Y'all can find me at, at Samurai Baby, but it's spelled S S A M U R A I B V B Y. Is that a play on the word samurai? What, what do you mean? Okay, Wait. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the word. It's just the word Samurai Baby, but I have an extra S in the beginning, and the A in Baby is a V instead. Okay, it's, it's complicated. And link so, is below. Okay, so mm -hmm. question: um, Are you good with swords? No. I just <laughs> just oh. the idea of samurais are cool. <laughs> Otherwise, mean, you're in a marine, so I thought you'd go with swords. Nah, oh, no. Never mind. Otherwise, if you're not gonna find me on Instagram, maybe you'll find me in SoCal because we're on my R33. Okay, okay. cool. Okay, yeah, cool. The, your link is below, so they'll definitely find you. And send them dick pics. Don't worry. Oh uh, shit. <laughs> um, Baddie O G B A D D I E O G underscore is my Instagram. Um, I recruit a lot of girls. I need girls in Miami area. I need models. 
I also got the hookup on if you need any type of rental. So I'm talking about yachts, jet skis. I even got planes. I got helicopters. Oh, shit. Um, I got that one cool jet ski that goes underwater. Got Wait, what? That. The... There's a jet ski. It's like a little. Chris sh- asked. It's called yeah. like I don't. I hate the water. Like uh, I think it's called like a <laughs> shark. You don't say shark something, but it's a jet ski and it goes underwater. But yeah, right. that's also available. Cool. Um, slingshot. Fucking submarines out videographers, here. Videographers, <laughs> photographers, studios, engineers, all that. Whatever you need, all your little artist needs, just hit me up, Betty OG. I got you in Miami. Cool. Okay, cool. It's President Nikki on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, BitCloud, Patreon.com says President Nikki, YouTube, President Nikki, Pe- well. Nikki Peacock official channel, President Nikki, N I K I. All right, you're everywhere. You're on Patreon too? Yes, sir. What kind of content do you have on there? Model. Okay. But model, like, does that mean like nudes? Yeah. I don't know in 2021 nowadays. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. So eventually, guys, don't worry. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Um, my Instagram is uh, underscore I am Rosie Rosales. And all I want y'all to do is book my Airbnb. Period. You can find it. Uh, you type Airbnb. in Manhattan or type in Harlem. Um, you want to stand up for the people of, and show them what they're in booking? In the heart of Harlem. <laughs> show them, stand up Condo. for the people and show them uh, what they're booking. <laughs> what they're booking. They're booking my unit. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. It may be it's much cheaper to book my unit than book me. I'll see yeah, that. There you go. Hey, no, hey, this is your chance. Period. Advertise that. Hey, show, show it to the people, man. Up to you. Like, hey. Guys, like the goddamn video right now. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's that. Uh, that's that uh, Peruvian ass right there. Okay. Th- that's the. Uh, what, what do y'all eat? Rice and bi- rice and beans too. Rice and beans. I'm dead. Okay. Well. <laughs> and ceviche. <laughs> and ceviche. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, okay, guys. So, wh- and what's your Why Instagram? Not? So they can send the dick pics there. My Instagram underscore I am Rosie Rosales. There you go. Because I know uh, you horn dogs want to know. I prefer if you guys send it through Airbnb though. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Okay. Uh, last, <laughs> last but not least. Angel Love. My Instagram is Angel Love underscore three hundred five, and I want y'all to click the link on the bio and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna sing something. All right. Um, this is for the females. For this is like the female anthem that girls like to sing. Is it called Disney World? No, nah, okay. it's called. <laughs> Don't City insult girls. me like that. You see, he's really trying me right now. I'm being so nice. No, you good. You good. <laughs> Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bill? Can you pay my automobile? If you did, then maybe we could chill. I don't think you do. So you and me are through. <laughs> that was pretty Spoke good. My soul, girl. Girl. You got more? You got more? I'm dead. Stop. Yeah, do one more. One more. What do y'all want to hear? I don't. Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Doja Cat. You got something know. ratchet? You got, you got something ratchet? You know what? Some Do this. I told you guys Trina about the back video. So I made her sing because she's holding a hostage with the vocals. It's the man. She's pretty decent though. You know, I'm, I'm, I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie right I, you. But you guys. I'm more than decent. Like All right, guys. You guys owned it. <laughs> Go ahead. See? This is what I'm saying, guys. When you're at the video... This happens. Get us to 5K likes, guys. That's all you got to do. Or else we're going in. <laughs> all right. Like the goddamn video. I'm Yo, proud of this. changing so fast. <laughs> you better, better like, like the video. video. You motherfuckers think we're kidding around. Like the goddamn video right now. I've been losing my hair debating with these girls about my standards and having a wife. Y'all saw his hairline, And right? I'll tell you this. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm losing my hair for real. This shit sucks. But anyway. <laughs> Like the goddamn video. Fresh, what is your take on this? Yo, y'all said I bought a gun? You're damn right I bought a gun. Like the video right now. I'll shoot you with this gun. Real talk. And you know what? Her singing's worse than this. If you, let me shoot you. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, also, we just finished robbing a bank. So we're holding this goddamn show hostage right now. I don't give a fuck. We need 5,000 likes or else um, she's going to keep singing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Or you know what? We'll cheat with your girl. singing. Until the lights come up. Oh, shit. So, if y'all don't get it up, I'ma keep on singing this song. So, y'all better like the video. Hey, hey, oh. I can't go on longer. So, y'all better like the video. Oh, King Kenzo, if you're watching this. You're my baby daddy. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's get out of here. Okay. That's horrible. <laughs> Make sure you put a ring on it. <laughs> put a ring on my finger.
finger. Yeah. Or Please else. Please, Luca, she's <laughs> in Miami. <laughs> to Miami. Get out of Canada. Get out of the white people land. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. you know she belongs on the yachts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. What? All right. So with that said, uh, we're going to video. Now cause the cops are are gonna we going to bring a, our, your girl on a yacht next time? Yeah. You bang, know bang. What? Do you want another man to take me on a yacht for my birthday? January the 3rd. Oh, I shit. want to go on a yacht with you, King. <laughs> you better do it. All right. So. Okay. Uh, we have a here. Here. All right, City Boys. If you have right a yacht, uh, please uh, bring on a yacht because oh you know what, uh, what happens on the yacht. <laughs> <with you> guys. <laughs> Fuck so, you guys, get us to. Uh, all right. 4.5K likes, guys, because I know we threw it on you guys, but we have to do this to get the engagement up. Because you guys, you know how we work. So just Y'all need to stay my playing around! Like the goddamn video right now! <laughs> this is getting me mad! <laughs> yo, this is a great camera, by the way, bro. Who yeah, got this yeah, Who got this camera? Yeah, yo, Mario, you did, man. Yeah, it's a pretty good camera. Yo, 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 oh, what do you do? Where's yo, your mask? Are, you, are your faces touching? Yeah, we are. Gay. Y'all want to kiss? <laughs> no, nigga! Uh-huh. Oh, what? Alright. Disappear! Y'all don't have to deal with me. I don't care. You know, All right, so, ladies, uh, <laughs> plug in your Instagrams one round quickly. <laughs> Go ahead. Where we start? You said Instagrams Nikki. again? We, Instagrams wait, quickly. Wait, yeah, shamelessly advertise your stuff again until we get the goddamn likes. Let's so. do so it. So I'm on Patreon, Instagram. We have YouTube. What else do we have? I'm, you guys I'm have a YouTube channel? Cryptocurrency. Ooh, you have yeah. a YouTube channel? I do. Why didn't you plug that the it? first time? I did. You did? You listen to me. Okay, yeah. well, you, I didn't hear you say YouTube. I heard you say... <laughs> Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, BitCloud, Patreon. Oh, you gotta say it's nice and slow so people can hear you, man. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go quicker. All right, fresh, Eric. Okay. All right, we got Super Chats here. James Hancock's photo designed 20 uh, New Zealand dollars. How, with a straight face, can you say that effing around builds character? <laughs> say it's the <laughs> one with no character, perhaps. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's he fire. came for me. Come for you. It's a testimony. It's your past. Sometimes people have to go through the worst so that they could become the best. You understand? Like, sometimes people go through, like, say somebody was raped, you know? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, <laughs> rape, wait, wait, rape is a term sorry, we have sorry. to use because it's YouTube. Yeah, it's a YouTube. Yeah, you gotta say rape. dark, oh, man. God you damn. Gotta say rape. My bad, my bad. That's so dark, man. This is what females go through. Females get raped every single day. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what, nigga? All right, you know what? Yo, pause, pause. Who's, right. Whose girl is this? All right, so li- <laughs> listen. <laughs> Here's our stance on this. I wouldn't pay full price for a used car. So it's okay that you're going through what you got to go through. But at the end of the day, when we marry a girl, right, we're investing into a woman for life. Mm-hmm. And we're investing into the future with our kids. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter what you're going through. Life life sucks. But at the end of the day, it's like you have to have the word and all to actually know what, hey, listen, I, I, I know I'm, I've am i been through this. So let me lower my standards to meet a guy who actually accept me for who I am. But don't expect the guy to lower his standards to meet you to where you're at because you've been through certain things. I'm sorry, life sucks, but it happens. But what if you're the female what if was dealing Disney? with lack I of money and she had world. yes? Oh, oh, it's, it's not Disney, okay? It's the real life. <laughs> Guys have to and operate that's what in, real in real life. life. I know. Sometimes no. people go through the worst. Yeah, but it, that's how they become the best. Yeah, and it sucks because people over there uh, uh, overseas they're going through things. But can we? I mean, save them? Not really. But they call uh, me Miss Disney. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like that title. Miss yeah, well, you know what? Call me. I'm uh, calling you. I'm, Chris, I'm, I'm, we you can't wait on her, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna call you Princess Cat from now on. Yeah. Princess Cat. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Uh, I don't like that. Yeah. My name is Angel. I mean, Love. here's the thing, man. Like, there's dudes out there that are five foot three that make twenty k a year, and y'all aren't gonna get. They've been through some shit too. They can't get on roller coaster rides, but y'all ain't gonna fucking pay to <laughs> right. take them. Uh, no. Like, come on, man. Y'all ain't gonna. Hey, like, but you could get your knees done. Yeah. Did you see that? So. Nah. No, Wait, I saw what? I saw a video. Dude got his like I don't know what procedure done, but it made him like even taller than his doctor. Like dead ass. I think Say <laughs> Cheese posted it or some shit. Like one yeah, of them yeah, little platforms. That not. happens, but then what's the repercussions of that later on? Like Oh, yeah. I don't know, but you taller, so shit. No legs. Yeah, but the, but that's what I'm trying to say is that like mm. we never tell women, hey, just accept him. He's a good guy. He's been yes, through a lot. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, really? You guys do that shit every day. <gasps> we gonna add, all right. That's what we do. No, go ahead, go ahead. We don't have to accept niggas for every. Fu- no. No one bats no. an eye when a woman says, "I want to." You know, should we put the fucking calculator out, Chris? We have to accept him being a hoe, a misogynist. No, yeah. Well, hold on. That's you, where we you, got you, cut, we gotta cut accept. off hold on, hold on. earlier with you the gotta, original question. You gotta, Everything. yeah, you gotta. Ex- I, t- I t- This is what I said. If a man is of a certain status, mm-hmm. a high value man, 
you're going to have to share them. Whether you That's like it said. or not. Whether you like it or not, you're going to have to share them. Whether you like it or not, in some way, shape, or form. Whether you fucking like it or not. I think that comes with that We territory. warned you. What was that? Fuck. That <laughs> comes with the territory. But most girls want to have one of these guys all to themselves, and I'm here to tell no, you that's not the way the world works. That, it, it's not. So you're willing to share them? Yeah. So why are you complaining about them being hoes? <laughs> I'm not complaining about them being hoes. I'm complaining about all their toxic ass ways. You could be, to me, I don't, a hoe to me is not a guy that wants to have sex with multiple women. I think that's a human instinct. So a hoe is someone with no standard. Like you literally have no standard for yeah, people but, or but, no respect for your own body or so, health. Huh, so that totally is saying. just nasty. So what, what Myron said earlier, uh, a guy can fuck a woman without, um, with, you know, with still loving his, his main chick, right? I think so. It, to us guys, like pissing. So when you said your health and your standards, well, you mean a guy will go out there fucking, uh, you know, not the girl. It's, it's, okay, it's, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, hey, it happens. Raw dog, you know, my mm -mm. nigga city boys be up. But at the end of the day, it's like, we will still Damn. love you. So. Right. The clinic. That's okay. Um, <laughs> uh, are we are we at the number, Chris? Uh, we yeah. good? 4.4 uh get to 4.5 okay likes guys 4.5 yeah, 4.5 4. 5 goddamn likes and we're we're, we're at 6,000 uh live viewers almost right now 5,900 okay so you uh okay, we're, okay we're so go back. ahead I, yeah we're back now I go ahead i was simply just wondering your preference when it comes to the weight of a woman weight give me a number give me a dress Can't, size give me a man i mean it depends on her height there's so many different All factors right, that go, go into five, it five five average i i, I can't go US average uh, five five does she go to the gym? Does she lift weight? A woman that lifts weight. This is your ideal. She's got to go to the gym and lift weights, so she's gonna weigh more than a woman that, that might not go to the gym and lift weights. Very great. Let's, you know what let's I'm saying? So, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> sorry, I, sorry. I would, Yo. I would have to see her. <laughs> look at the proportions. Everyone holds weight differently. You know, everyone has different genetics. Okay. Uh, so as more people have. So you're open lean to bodies. dating a plus size. Person. No, not plus size. Hell no, no, no. So no, where no. does the line cross from, like? heavy because of what she lifts Wait, so or heavy because she doesn't lift it all comes down body. to it all comes down to uh body composition mm -hmm. body composition body fat percentage okay the, so you're fine getting a looks. stronger woman than you a heavier woman i mean no. i'll be honest no, 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 like stronger no she's heavier Ni not stronger 99 percent of women are not stronger no, she can't be stronger i mean i, I mean okay. I, I train so like, not, like and that's not to say oh Oh, women are weak. It's no, I, I, I understand that you train, but yeah, I lift weights. So like, yeah, but no, like you lift, and there are women that are stronger than you. Muscle is leaner than than fat. So the women that are I stronger agree. than me, the the women that are stronger <laughs> than me are like Olympic athletes that so are on drugs. Completely off the Bruh. table. For you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not. Completely off the table for I'm, you. I'm probably not gonna date those women. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of models do you follow? I don't follow any models. You don't follow a single Why not? I don't model. follow I don't follow any women on Instagram that I'm either not involved with business wise or that I'm not sleeping with or hanging out with or Bam. something like that. So you do we sleep teach, with them. We teach guys not to not to follow not to um not to follow or give attention Random to women that you're not girls. fucking with. Yeah. Okay, but you sleep with the models. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You sleep with the Instagrammers. What do they look like? <laughs> what is their profile? <laughs> Potentially. I I mean anyone I know? What is, was that? <laughs> Famous anyone I know? I, I don't know who you know, so I, <laughs> say I, I, I I don't know, and I wouldn't disclose that on the internet anyway. It's fucked okay. up. Omg, okay. I wouldn't put that. I wouldn't <laughs> put that out there. So <laughs> that'll be another can't body count. Be plus size. But what is it? My body be... count? That'll be for for the female. Oh yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't so do that. I wouldn't put her on blast. I don't. I don't like. I don't put girls on blast, and I'm like. So she doesn't go to the gym. She's completely off. the table. For a serious relationship? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. She's got to go to the gym and train. It has to be specifically gym. Yes. There's like CrossFit, there's dancers, there's cheerleaders, there's all She's these gotta people. She's got to be active. 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 So we're not crossing off the gym. All I right? mean, that's active the most dancer, conventional way of being in shape. That's about 190. Still good. One, 190 active dancer? Yeah. You're looking she at her, tall. but go off. Yeah. Um, no, go what? off. No, I mean, yeah. Who are you asking for? You, you are a friend. I got friends. <laughs> okay. There They're you go. stronger, but... <laughs> One one ninety, I would say, is a, is a, is too big for me. Being okay. honest, interesting. interesting. I weigh two hundred pounds myself, so and I'm six foot three. <laughs> yeah, like weight what carries like differently. Huh? But weight carries like differently, foot? as you said. There's no need for a woman to be one hundred ninety pounds. I'm oh, dead. Dead. Really dead. sitting right Almost here. Never. I'm dead. I, I'm, I, I mean, you, I, 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 I'm just being honest. Off. You asked me, so I'm like, I'm, I'm still hot as fuck. So that's fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, are you single? <laughs> For right now. Okay. I got a roster. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. Yo, the chat is ruthless. Y'all <laughs> niggas are so funny. Uh, you know what? Chase, I just asked me who the fuck you are. <laughs> chat half for your reign. President Yo. <laughs> yeah, she, um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just being honest about what I would. <laughs> That's fine. You can have preferences. Yeah. Hey, be so wrong. there's plenty of guys. I mean, I don't think anyone could be wrong for preferences, but <laughs> sure. I mean, there's just there's just things that guys like and guys that guys like it. and don't like. Yo, uh, fresh. Try going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> Niggas <laughs> gotta talk shit. All right. Uh, <laughs> 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 I can't hear anything. You're welcome. Uh, okay. So, um, okay. what's who's who's next? Did anyone else have anything before we get to the next question? Oh, uh, so super jazz. Yeah, okay. super this, this I is, have a question. Now we just finished reading them. So no. let the <laughs> let the ladies. Is it, is it I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> Someone <laughs> has a question. Go ahead. To the guys, sure. hypothetically, if yeah, you sure. guys were, I guess this is the part where they're grilling us now. Yeah. I guess this yeah. is it. It already yeah, started. Like, yes, you're grilling us. Is it? Y'all yeah, been growing us for the past like 20, 30 minutes now. Let's so. go to you. Yeah. <laughs> you came first. Okay. Sure, go oh, ahead. Go for ahead. the guys, hypothetically, yeah. if you guys just so happen to have sex with Drake, would you guys... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, it's hypothetical. Wait. Come back. <laughs> Bro, what? Hold up. Wait. All the night. Listen, it's hypothetical. Show, son. Go ahead. Anybody? Oh, the girls. You're asking this for the girls. No, I'm asking the guys. Would you guys keep the child? What? Wrong show. Think, are you like assuming we were women? Yes, I said hypothetically. If you were women, I didn't hear her say. And if you we had were women. a right? one night yeah. stand with a celebrity or somebody of higher stature, would you keep the child? Did she, guys? Did she say if you uh, were women? Yeah, I don't think no. she I said. I said hypothetically, if you were, were women, women and you were able to conceive, would okay. you keep the child? Uh, I if I was I with a celebrity, I didn't hear that, hear that yeah, and I, I, like if a celebrity got me pregnant, yes. Yeah, I mean that's a bag. Yeah, for sure. All right, I just can't. For sure, that. I like I that this. honesty. We yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, and, and yeah, I mean that's. Nah, I, <laughs> if like, I was I'm a girl, not remember it's if you're a girl. If it's if it's you're a woman. If I was a girl, if you're a woman, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Would uh, you yeah. keep it? Oh finesse. Ooh, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. What you mean? Right. Yeah. So both of y'all are hoes. I'll take like, it a step. In aspect. Well, call, call it what well here's want. the thing. So okay. there, there's Just two like, ways. Yeah. There's two. There's two realities. If you're gonna if you're gonna be a woman. So I've said it before. If I was a girl, I would either a be. A princess and find myself uh, mm -hmm. a, a husband, right? Prince if I, charming. you know, a prince Don't charming, throw whatever. Shade at me. <laughs> or, or I would, I would be a fucking mega thought, but I'd be a multi millionaire. Badass. I know bitch. that's right. Yeah. So I would, I would go one of the two routes. Well, mm -hmm. I, I got There's only I two like routes you can go. Or you can be in the middle. Yeah. But there's no way I'm gonna be thotting and not be rich. Yeah, but the badass right. bitch that's usually weird. don't get that prince charming. The, what? The, the, the bad bitch usually don't get That's the prince charming. The true. one who's got her fucking shit together and the manages herself and she don't got time for that. That's because That's bad bitches are awful wives. That's why. That's, not That's true. Facts. facts. That's facts. And I don't well. care how much you don't like to hear it. That's facts. Yeah. We. I don't think we're good wives or mothers, unfortunately. That's yeah. just the reality. That's fine. So. I mean, as long as women are okay with that, like, because I can't tell you how many women have come on the show and like try to fight me on it. And I'm like, Listen, man. You have to change like, your entire lifestyle. Yeah, and here's the thing. I'll, I'll, it's not even you change. You can't. You can't go back in, in, past, in the past and change what you've done. You know what I'm mm. saying? If, if, if a girl you can is, is, has a promiscuous past, it's going to disqualify you from a lot of high-value men. It is mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. How would they even know? Oh, trust oh, we me, guys. How would they know? They're not going to know. No, no, we can definitely tell. How would they know? How you move, what you do. No, I don't present myself like Podcasts a hoe. Like that doesn't this. mean I haven't been fucking. I'm not gonna go around like who ready to fuck. Like, no, of course weird. not. Like, no. Who we we had a big suck like that. We did a podcast. Uh, that. We did a podcast two weeks ago. Check it out, guys. By the way, it's uh, ten signs she belongs to the streets. To, she belongs to the streets. And uh, what we did was we identified a bunch of uh, you know traits. tips and traits that if a woman displays them and she has a bunch of them together, not all of them, Ooh, right? What were uh, they? But a collective. But a collective of them. Then you got to use, you know, your experience and your common sense to be like, all right, is this girl marriage material or is this girl worthy of a serious long term relationship? And if she has a bunch of them, probably not. What are some of them? <laughs> Watch Bluetooth. the video. Watch the video. Yeah. Oh, come on. Like two. Am I ho? Or not? Link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're asking. Yeah. <laughs> no. If you're asking. If you're asking. Don't do that. Okay. 
Now, who? Anyone else? Uh, else wanted to grill us on some? I wanted to go back to that original question where sure. y'all. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So go ahead. the question was earlier. Um, mm-hmm. So if you're dating a higher status man, mm-hmm. um, would you allow him to control like your social media and like what you wear and stuff? So I don't believe um, women who date. Or, like, or, or is that example, a question like, or is that just a statement? Cause, no, mm-hmm. so earlier, the question that you have given us, yeah. you cut it off here. So you were asking if... like Who cheats more, men or women? And then I was explaining how women cheat versus how one. men cheat. After that question. Okay. So after that question, the um, the subject was if you're dating someone and they, like a wife, mm-hmm. you want them to be your wife, yeah. but you don't want them to be exposing themselves yeah. in person, social media, yeah, and I wanted to agree with you yeah. because I feel like merch women are very um, scatterbrained with our emotions. We don't know what the fuck we want. We don't know if we want a relationship. We don't know if we want to be a badass, independent bitch. And no, 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 I'm he's playing <laughs> right now. Go ahead. Um, Continue. So I feel like merch. You can't. You can't be this badass, independent woman. And look for a husband who wants someone who wants a wife if your husband is looking for a wife a man is looking for a wife he's looking for a wife who's submissive to him yep who's gonna do the house shit clean raise the kids he's looking for a wife he's not looking for you to bring in income he's not looking for you to be an asset he's looking for you to be a wife like he's an not asset, looking for a business a partner a like way. a business partner an asset in a way. different way an asset in a different yeah, way yeah you're looking for a family you're let's not, not downgrade a woman that can be a mother and and because I, I tend mm-hmm. I, i've noticed a lot of women tend to look at women that don't have a job or a housewives or whatever as like less than but what i'm saying no, is never. that that's actually a woman one never. of a woman's most powerful roles but go ahead continue. i believe Sorry. i believe continue. that a woman who has the ability to be a, a housewife and like a mother to her children actively 24 7 that's the dream that's a fucking dream shit. I want to be like that when I grow up. But that's not the life that I chose. I didn't choose to settle down and find a boyfriend to you eventually chose marry. chose the streets. I chose, yeah, no, dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> I chose the fucking streets. I run this bitch. Um, hey. <laughs> okay, okay. Like, not in the way that you think. Like, I'm not hoeing or nothing, but I do run these fucking streets out here in Miami Beach. You see me in Ocean Drive, you know, Batty OG. Okay. But... You can't be this badass bitch putting yourself in situations How dare and be a mother and a wife at the same time. Yeah. For example, me. I cannot be out on these streets exposing myself, whether it's for my brand or someone else's brand that I'm promoting. And what, who the fuck going to take care of my children? Who the fuck going to take care of my husband who's going to feed him when he gets home? Like your mother... Your sister, your that nigga aunt, can't cook. your best My friend. mother, my sister, my yeah. family got their own lives. I don't need to depend on them to take care of my load. You don't. Like, I'm going to speak for help. myself. Like, say, like, because I do have a husband, like, what I vision. Wait, huh, what? Wait, wait, no, you, no, 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 no. Like, it's possible. Here, husband. No ring. Hey, guys, don't rain hey. in on her dream, okay? Right, right, they right, trying right, to right. take me. <laughs> Y'all want to put a ring? Okay, yeah, but right. in the future, I do want to be the woman that's going to be performing on stage. I'm a singer, and I do want to have kind of a balance, like, with my job and mm-hmm. with my at-home life when I do have kids. So I think it... Men actually, I don't think a husband would mind, wouldn't mind having a wife who's a singer that has. The key is as long as your husband's okay with it. But but the thing is, is that a lot of guys are going to, if they have a child with you, that child needs to be number one. And, And I think one of the grave mistakes a lot of modern day women make is they put their own personal goals and their own personal happiness and hedonistic, you know, pleasures before the family, which is why the divorce rate is so high, why so many women are single, and why so many women look. You know what? The grass is green on another side. Another dude in my DMs. I could just talk to him, which is fine. You can have that abundance mindset, but that abundance mindset will k- kick you in the ass. Late. It will bite you in the ass later because you can only go through so many men. And and the reality is, men that are attractive are rare, but beautiful women are not. So if you find a guy that's good. You're better off like trying to cash your chips when you have the most mm-hmm. negotiating power, when you're the most young and attractive that you are. Mm-hmm. Because as you get older, I hate to say it, your value goes down as a woman. But as, the, but as a man, the more money you make and the older you get, the more your value goes up. 
And the difference is, y'all just heard two guys at the table. We're willing to date women that are 10, 15 years younger than us. And, we'll, you know, and we're higher earners. So what does that mean? Well, you're competing with a new girl turns 18 every day. It's just that most guys aren't going to admit this to you that they want to date younger, firmer, tighter, more attractive. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it is because it's politically incorrect to say that. It's extremely rude to say shit like that. Like, oh, I want a younger, hotter girl. So what's the politically correct thing? Oh, I want a girl that gets a bag. I want a girl that's strong and independent. We've brainwashed young women to think that being like a guy makes them more attractive to get a guy. But that's it actually further harder. from the truth. So mm-hmm. what I'll say is this. You, you brought up a fantastic point. A strong, independent woman cannot coexist with being a good wife. Mm-mm. You have to pick wow. one. It's not. You can't do it. You can't do it. Can't I disagree it. completely yeah. with all of you. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> She's I, like, all of you. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> I dare you to bring all of them back on the show when they turn 30 so they can talk about <laughs> how badass they are. And oh, how I'm they can manage it all. Y'all are, and I, I agree even with you. I'm managing it all. <laughs> and I know I have you two are. kids. Exactly. I feel like you can be multifaceted. Well, you hey guys, let her speak. Let her speak. Go ahead. All you can do it all. We're all how many kids? Us. Who me? Yeah. None. Okay. Oh, Chris asked you a that. A dog. One dog. Chris asked you that. <laughs> so, I'm I'm gonna respectfully have to disagree, and, and the reason why is because I think that's a narrative that we've told women. You know, and I, this the feminism is to blame for this. We brainwash young women to tell them that they can have it all. They can have a career. They can push off having children, push off having a family, push off finding a good husband. And that that's quite frankly not the reality. It, it, it isn't. Because as you get older as a woman, right, and the more money you make and the more success you achieve, what happens is your pool of candidates shrinks, right? But on the other side, for a man who's also climbing the social ladder and climbing the socioeconomic ladder, as he makes more money and gets older, his candidate pool increases. Let me say that again. No, I get it. As a woman, the more money you make and the older you get, your candidate pool decreases. Mm -hmm. Doors close. As a man, as you get older and make more money, doors open and your candidate pool increases. Mm -hmm. Women have no problem dating a man that's 10, 15 years their senior. Right. Mm-hmm. However, women have an issue dating men that are here for 10, 15 years. They're junior. And also on top of that, as a woman makes more money, she wants a guy to be at least on her level, if not better. All of mm-hmm. you guys confirm that. I want a guy at least at my level. If you're making $150,000 a year as a woman, you know what percentage of men make that kind of money? That are single, attractive? Mm-hmm. Let's pull out the calculator have some fun with this. <laughs> Chris, let's pull out the, the, the calculator. And actually, I want you to punch in your ideal man. And uh, and then we'll go around the table, mm. all right? Oh, no. what 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 what? Go. We got a calculator. It's based on the U.S. Census. It's very accurate. Very. So, mm. so uh, <laughs> all right, right. So it's it's jokingly called the female delusion calculator. But oh shit! But, <laughs> but hold on, hold on. It pulls from the U.S. Census, ladies. Yes. It's accurate. It is accurate. It pulls Good. from the U.S. Uh, census. Mm-hmm. So the man. your God. ideal man for you. All right. What let's, age? Let's do it. What age? Forty is a good age. Okay, fair enough. Uh, 40 to what? What's the Minimum. age bracket range? Let's say 35 to 45. 35 to 45? Okay. All right. Can he be married? What? No. Okay, so exclude Divorced, married? Divorced, yes. So you're not going to share him. Okay. What is the preferred race? What race? Uh, he's just <laughs> 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 yeah. What, what he's race like... for you? Um, Let's stick with that one. <laughs> any? Oh, black? Any. Okay. Let's oh, any. any. All right, all right. Uh, what's the minimum height? You're kind of tall yourself, actually. Six still. Okay, fair enough. Six foot two. Um, can he be fat? No. Okay, can't be fat. And what is the minimum <laughs> income? <laughs> He's Split just kidding. All the way but what's up. the min- minimum income? Be honest. Be honest. This is a guy that you want to take seriously and date. One hundred twenty k. One hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. That's a lot. All right. That's decent. Okay. Let's see how uh, common let's, this guy let's is. Let's find out right now. Let's find out. <laughs> Okay. Damn. 14 percent. God damn. Uh, not oh. even. But yeah. So you Holy got. Holy shit. Cat and this. I'm done. Ah! Yeah, Aggie. <laughs> <laughs> Aggie. <laughs> All right. I hate so them. This scored, better be a sponsor. So you you scored four out of five <laughs> cat bags. I'm okay. You're I'm considered okay. a cat enthusiast. So the man that you're looking for is extremely rare. So, uh, so yeah, four out of five <laughs> cat bags. Less than one percent of the male population meets these metrics. Now, you want to know what the funny part is? 
This does not include if he's good looking. This does not include if he knows how to speak to you properly. This does not include if he's in shape. This does not include if he's, uh, you know, gay. <laughs> in Miami. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In Miami. In Miami. So what that? do you think your chances are of finding a guy like this at, at your age when there's you're in Miami? You're in the most competitive city for women. There's beautiful women everywhere that are, t- that are 21. No offense, mm-hmm. but you're no spring chicken anymore. So wh- why is a man that has that kind of money... Why is he going to settle with you when he can get a woman that's 10, 15 years younger than you can that can give him children? Because you're 34, right? You said I can't. Okay, let's let's <laughs> let's let's let's, let's look at reality here. By the time a woman's 35 years old, about 95 percent of her eggs are gone. And I'm not being an asshole, but that's the truth. Let's pull that those stats out. Yeah, it's that's, that's that we've that's, that's uh, a done. biological fact that by the time a woman's 35 years old, her ability to bring a child to term is significantly reduced. Most of her eggs are gone, <clears throat> over ninety percent. Okay, you say so. Am I? Am I? Over. Do we, we have a doctor in the chat that can like to confirm this? We have. We, we have. I'd like to have Google some... this. I mean, we've done it before. Google it. No, we've done uh, it. Before. Google Here we it. Go. I mean, we, we have it, facts. It's a biological linked. fact that, like, by the time a woman is thirty-five years old, a majority <laughs> of her eggs are gone, like over better than ninety percent. Okay, I'm okay. not there yet. Just turned thirty-four. Well, what six months? Okay, what? so eight. All right, fair enough. I, I, <laughs> hey, I, I mean, we're just operating in reality here. Y'all can call us assholes, but the guy that you're looking for is extremely rare. Less than one percent of the male population. Um, all right, who wants to go next and get I'll their dreams next. crashed? Okay, yeah, I, I have. <laughs> anyway, you want to? Okay, uh, so let's pull it back up real quick. And thanks for being a good sport. Of course. Yeah, but uh, you'll you'll find him eventually. You're just gonna <laughs> have to maybe date a guy that's five foot two instead. So all right. So uh, okay. what's the age range for you? <laughs> so my age range as someone who's 22 is 20 to 45. Okay. Can he be married? As in like meeting him, he's married. No. Like, well, like would you? Yeah. Like, like would you share him basically? The, the whole time. The whole time, <laughs> probably not the whole time. Okay. So can't be married. Exclude married. Uh, race. Um, any. Okay, fair oh, enough. Shit. Equal yeah. opportunity employer. Uh, yeah, sorry, Chris. <laughs> I tried. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, what's the What's the height? Minimum height for you? So I've dated a lot of different guys. So my minimum height is um five four. Okay. All right. Okay. Y'all got a chance. Y'all got a chance. Got a chance in the chat. <laughs> Real. Uh, okay. Uh, can you be fat? Nah. No. It, it depends. Like it depends. Like on like his like what. Is like well, it's obese. 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 Okay, yeah. like extremely obese. No, because like okay. that's a health condition. Right, cool. then. Okay, and minimum here. income. Um, mm. that is also dependent on where we're living. So I would say forty k. Okay, forty k. Forty k. Forty k. Hey man, that's what she gets. Wait, mm. wait, right. oh, where? That, that's what I'm saying. Like it depends on where we're living. Like, <laughs> where? Like, I'm, I'm from Wisconsin, so. Like the land yeah. of the cheese. Yeah. Where do you plan to? Where do you plan to? I guess we, to make this easier, let's assume you're in California. W- mm-hmm. What would it be if for California? Oh, that's where you I live guess. Now. Okay. Yeah, I guess for California. Oh well. Yeah. No. Forty k. Forty k is okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. All right. Wow. wow. She gonna be homeless. Twenty five percent of Los Angeles. No. I'm well, hold on, hold on. So she, she, hey, but she'll find a guy. Oh shit. She only scored two shit. out of five cat bags. Wait, is this the first? She got yeah. more. Yeah. This, this is the first. I think this is uh down to earth. Down to earth. It's the best score. I think only one, only one other girl has scored yeah. this low before. So that's good. It's the best score. That's good. Oh, Most okay. girls don't feel bad. Most girls score between four to five cat bags. Yeah. Four so five. don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Um, all right. Cool. Who? Anyone else wants to go and see what their probability is of finding a husband? All right, you want to go? All right, don't cap now, though. You better keep it. Okay, Okay, stick with that same energy from before. All right, Miss, uh, I'm an entrepreneur, and I don't (laughs) care how much a man makes. What age? I didn't say that. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. (laughs) Ain't nobody say that. All right, what's the the age range for you? I'm going to go with, like, mm, 27. 27? Okay, two. like, 90. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) No, go up. Um, Like, 55. Five. Okay, and then uh, race. Wait, no. Keep it can a it, thousand. Can he be? Oh yeah, sorry. Be married or oh, no? No, hell no. Sharon. Okay. okay. Cool. Uh, race. What, race. Mm, yeah, let's keep I it a thousand. Know. You only fuck black guys. No, I mean I like all type of guys. I'm not gonna lie. Asian. Yeah. Okay. 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 You could put, you could put any of them. All right. Cool. Height? Good. All right. So minimum like, height. I'm like five three. So let's say like six foot. Okay. Oh, and the, with me like 5'11 5'11 5'11 okay can he be obese nah kid alright what's the minimum income bare minimum bare minimum give it a thousand you in Miami 
I'm going to go 70. <clears throat> Miss Entrepreneur, I own a business? I'm just saying. But he don't have to. In Miami? He's just got to be doing something. All right, 70K. Okay. Let's see how common this individual is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> four, so four, fucking four, rare. Really? Yeah. Four cat bags. You scored uh, four out of five cat bags as well. So you're also, uh, what's which, which she considered? A cat enthusiast. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. is... All right. Anyone else want to get their dreams crushed? About nope. finding okay, Mr. Right. looking at me. I you guess I'll go? go. I guess I'll go. 13. You want to go? Okay. Uh, okay. And then don't worry. Miss New York is next. New York. Miss Airbnb. She's like, fuck that. Yeah, she's like, oh, Make sure man. you put in a search Manhattan condo. You'll see me. <laughs> <laughs> and I am the kind of hot host. That's what you'll see in, your, in the reviews. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm honestly right. loving this plug. So, uh. Okay, yeah. Um, we'll go 20 to 37. Okay, 20 to 37. Uh, can he be married? No. Okay. I so feel like y'all are no, sure. inter interpreting that wrong. I feel like it means like married beforehand. No, the ring. No, 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 no. It's like he's married. It's, it's not for like it's, it's not merch. That's a question. Okay, go on. A lot of guys. In Some this, people would date married men. That doesn't yeah. make sense. We're looking for yeah. a husband probability. Like, why is that even an option? No, you but, can't marry no, someone who's a, already married. Hold on. A lot of guys will date women and still be married, and mm -hmm. they're cool with it. Mm -hmm. They'll like be like a side chick, basically. Maybe they just need a divorce. No, they don't want to get divorced because their woman is still their woman. Oh, says the man of mm, dreams. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So La ladies, are you aware like of the me. fact that, um, like, since the beginning of time, women have shared men? Yep. There have been harems of women that shared, like, one or one Caesar. guy? Caesar. It's been the other way Whatever around day. as Kangas well. Kong. Every day. Prophet Some places. Smith. Founding where? fathers. Africa. Name it. Africa where? where? I don't know. Name. Okay, exactly. Okay, back to me. <laughs> um, race, any color. <laughs> okay. Height, five, six. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm only I'm like five four, so it's okay. fine. All right. Um, minimum income. No, no, no. So wait. Oh, yeah. Wait, can you be fat? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um. No. So yeah. Okay. Income. Let's say eighty k. Okay. It's a little less than me, but it's fine. Okay. <coughs> Go off. So you, okay, so you, you uh, aspiring cat ladies, aspiring. you're right there. Okay. I'm done. You're, you're score three. <laughs> I'm yes. Aspiring. You're you're right there. Ooh. So okay, you scored three out of five cat bags. Not, not bad, bad. Not, not bad. bad. bad Drop the standards a tad, and you'll 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 find your man. Damn. And uh, what's the what's the percentage of the guy that she's looking for? Actually, scroll up a little bit, Chris. Five 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 point seven percent. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's a good number. All right. Uh, who wants to go? <laughs> you want to go next? Oh, I know he doesn't exist. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> right. Uh, we gonna go with Miss New York next. Okay. Okay, cool. Miss Airbnb. <laughs> we already know your taste, so been doing it. Don't cap. All right. Uh, height. Uh, age. Okay. Age range. Um, thirty-four to fifty. Okay. And how old are you? I'm twenty-six. Okay, thirty-four to fifty. Yes. Which matches, right? You know, most women want. I think the average age is about seven years above. All right, thirty-four to fifty. Can you be married? No. Okay, she don't share either. Race. Black. Okay. Sorry, no. <laughs> that was coming. Six foot. <laughs> Six foot. Six foot. Okay. okay. And then. Uh, Can it be fat? No. All right. Okay, exclude obese. Then minimum, minimum income. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, minimum, I'm, minimum, 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 like one fifty minimum. Okay, one fifty. Let's see minimum. where the, how this guy where this guy is. God. Jesus. Uh, no. God. Oh damn! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> God damn! You scored a perfect Woo! five out of five. Woo! Woo! Yeah. 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 Sheesh! Maybe in Mars. Uh oh. Uh, uh, no, 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 Wait, wait, it's 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 uh, coming out. Stop the show. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's here. Honestly, y'all are so annoying. Y'all niggas in the chat. Best in Chewy. It's an awesome stock. Cat and dog food. You can't go wrong, bro. I'm telling you right now, you can't go wrong. Yeah. So uh we have too much fun with this. I ain't gonna lie. Congratulations to me. Yeah, you scored a five, a perfect five out of five cat bag. Which, uh, which ladies don't feel bad. A lot of girls score perfect, perfect Four or five, five out of no. five cat well, bags. Actually, hold on. She could put this in her Airbnb now. Oh, oh. shit. Hey. Oh. Is pet friendly, by the way. Okay. $150 <laughs> plus plus. There charge. you go. There, there you go. go. And you know what's actually uh, funny, too? Um, we tell guys on the podcast all the time to invest in Chewy and cat food, like the stocks. Yeah. And it's actually going up significantly. Oh, yep. yeah? Yeah. Yo, right. Niggas are making money, bro. Yeah. Guys, niggas guys are making are, money. Guys Yo. are literally investing in Yo. Chewy and money. Y'all owe us, bro. No. Su super chats real quick. I hope you guys are enjoying this because it smells here. like cat food in here Chris, now. Chris, super chats real quick. Pump. Okay. Hey, it's me, 20 bucks. Every time I see pretty feet, I got to support <laughs> men. 
Shout out to Glenn Extra Fresh. Oh my gosh. They can see your feet and they like them. Okay. Really? Do you have OnlyFans? Mm, book my Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. She has big pics on there. Wait, okay. wait, wait. Hold on. If they book it, will you be there? Of course. I am the host. Oh, I shit. I go and I give the keys. Yes. Okay. You, you guys will see me. Oh. I will open the key doors for Only you. Only the keys? <laughs> wait, hold on. Only the keys? <laughs> This nigga fresh about to get the oh. Airbnb right now. <laughs> what is the address? <laughs> what is the reason? <laughs> what is the address? What is life? Yeah, you know? Okay. Uh, okay, Zentia, 20 bucks. Princess Leia, reject back again. Color me surprised that she's been quiet and yet still looks like she's for the streets round five M recreational use. Only you, you uh, oh here, what? I got you, Leia. You want to fight this guy back? Um, I think I've been quiet. I've been saying some shit today. And... I don't belong to the streets. The streets belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, we got... Uh, we Mr. Got... Dr. Amazing, women use men as... Are, uh, women... Y- us? Men are simple. Been well, that way since the beginning of time. Bro, you, you were that way, bro. David P. 10 bucks. Fact. Divorce rate spike when women out-earn her partner. Fact. Mm-hmm. High female body count equal uh, neck correlation with marital success. Oh, Pity for suckers that listen to on left and bank on finding exceptions. Damn. That goes back to what I was telling you why uh, guys shouldn't, um, you know, marry women that have a past like that because your chances of a good marriage and divorce pretty much go down the... Divorce goes up and the marriage uh, happiness goes down. Uh, Tom Chad. Fighting men tooth and nail on what they prefer is counterproductive. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you because you disagree with everything I said as far as like what guys want. Do you have any more disagreements? No. Everything. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Benny Herrera. Ten bucks. Ten Yo, bucks. Yeah. Uh, Head ninja fresh. Okay. Uh, it took t- Chris t- ten minutes to put that mask on. Head longer than Frieza <laughs> when he's in third form. <laughs> oh, yo! <laughs> yo, see, they roast us too. Yo, yo God damn. Chris, you got something to say yo. back, bro? Oh, shit. Hey, nigga, fuck you. No, 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 Chris. Could you put Frieza, <laughs> Frieza third form real quick? So you can see what it, what it looks like. Cause y'all don't know what, what Frieza is, right? No, 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 you good, man. Go no, 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 no. I am not. like a shaky baby. You want to see, bro? No, you look no, like a shaky I mean, baby. You have more chats. Let's go. No, 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 no. <laughs> bro, pull up, man. Come on, bro. All right, hold on. Go, go ahead. So, this dude, nigga, bro. Y'all have watched Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon Ball right. Z. See oh. my way to the, the little, like, white monster guy, uh, Frieza? Frieza. Hold on. Come on. Gotcha. We got a Google image gotcha, of this. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So they're saying that Chris, his head is so large. Ready? It's third form Frieza. Ready? Got to. Guys, you ready for it? You're yes. Right. Oh wow, he really pulled yeah. it out. Oh okay. shit! That nigga head looked like goddamn. Hey. But explode. Twins. Hey, you know what I said? The bigger the head. Twins. Pause, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> if y'all notice, Chris's ski mask every time he puts it on stretches out more and yes, more. Yes, it does. So uh, it's pretty. It's pretty <laughs> fucking funny. Any roast? Okay. Ready? Okay. Uh, yeah, everyone. Everyone gets roasted on this. Me, podcast. him, everybody. Uh, and okay, uh, Heritage Dev. Uh, oh, uh, and okay. Uh, where's that from? Best uh, show 2021 FNF gang. Thank you so much. Thanks, I'm trying bro. To, well, remember what country that Croatia? is? Croatia? No, no, no. Fresh, can you re, uh, read it and I'll find a country? Okay, we have um, electric. I like re- the video, by the way. Guys. Ten, uh, 10 bucks. Modern want all the pros in life and not the cons. I think he meant women. Most women now want a Beyonce body with a Burger King diet, then get mm-hmm. mad at men with value for not li- unliking healthy women. Norway. Norway. Oh, Norway, cool. We got we got fucking Australian here, Japan in here. Canada. I see someone with some Euro, Canada. Cool. Yo, Great Britain. Thank you guys so much. We love you guys. It we're fucking international. Uh, ten bucks. Fuck electric yeah. uh, well, relaxation. Bye. Modern. Oh, we read that one. Sorry. Moro. Blondie Juan fits so bad. LMAO, bro. He not finna pick you. Oh God. Come on, guys. Uh, she's a very polite, nice woman. Uh, Moro for all. You know what fat is? We don't want fat chicks. City boys, we out. Out you. Okay. Thank you so much. Ouchia. Damn, bro. Night commander. I don't want a girl built like a damn linebacker. Hut, hut. <laughs> this nigga. How's he in Europe knowing that shit? What the fuck? Uh, Miss Piggy trying to see if she qualifies. Myron, watch out. You guys something to say back to Sly Wap here? You want to tell him fuck you or something? Fuck you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me because I make more money than you, so we'll divorce Ew. anyways. Oh. oh. <laughs> So we'll divorce anyway. All right, witty too. Joshua Kimber, she ain't got no friends. She want that Sudanese pickle. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, bro. Uh, we got uh, Omar M. Trying to tell a high value guy to disregard a promiscuous pass is like saying a pickle can become a cucumber again. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, okay. Uh, Chuck Morka, 190 pounds. Didn't know y'all had running backs on the podcast now. <laughs> what the fuck? You got a rebuttal for him? 
the same one as last time. I mean, I don't have to afford Taco Tuesday. I got much higher things than that. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and then we got uh, t- ten bucks. No, uh, what? Hundred ninety pounds is one Taco Tuesday away from playing center oh, for the Lakers beside the faithful one. LeBron James. <laughs> yeah, <I think> so. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> like the Decepticons are in the building tonight. These girls want to talk like they pure, but gathered enough energy from bodies to throw spirit bombs. Yo, yeah, yes! no, he Ru- did it. <laughs> Ru- Waffle Roast Beef actually agreed that she's been running the streets and says she's actually learned something from this podcast. Color me surprised. Get back to the streets at 04 <laughs> and take the rest of the thoughts with I got the baddest ones, too. Just let me know if you need to run them out. What the mm-hmm. fuck? Oh, man. Okay. Generally, fertility begins to drop in your late 20s and oh, early man. 30s and falls more rapidly after the age of 35. Tragic. At 37, you're down to just 25,000 eggs or 2.5% of your starting point. Ooh. That matters because the fewer eggs in your ovaries, the lower your odds of conception. WebMD. Wow, well, he bought out for you. Damn. At that man drew all the way into the ovaries. But, but remember, it out. starts at 25. It, no, but it's, no but it here's, doesn't. No, he, he's it saying at 30. at 25. Remember that we said about overnight, around 90% are gone. By the time you're 35, yeah. At 37, you only have a uh, 2.5. 2.5% chance of your starting count. Of your yeah. starting count. So it's even lower. So it goes down to about 97.5% chance that you won't be able to have a kid. And then you're single with one year left. Damn. So you're telling me I'm running out of time, too. Yeah, it is, this is facts, though. Yeah, it's, it's, adoption is care. an option. Fuck them kids. Adoption <laughs> is an you option. Can adopt. Yeah, you you could definitely Lots adopt. Lots of kids need homes. You can adopt. It's just that we actually had a woman on the podcast. And we talked about that. Yeah. You can adopt, but it's not going to be the same. It's as not the same thing. Child, of course not. You're growing a child inside of you. It's never going to be the same as adopting one. Yeah, yeah, but, but you can still give a child a good home. So, guys out there, for any of you guys out there, hey, she's attractive. Shoot your shot on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? She needs to get married in next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No, no, no. <laughs> she's a naughty girl though. <laughs> <laughs> in Miami uh, question ladies from T.O. move to the city what can I do to cold approach women beautiful as you out on the streets tips things to say been trying to get on a date is it possible at the store or whatever well number one my friend you gotta mm-hmm. move somewhere where there's attractive girls Miami has the most attractive girls by far and I would say we have the most attractive girls in a concentrated area yeah. uh, mm-hmm. Marshall Vessel hey Fresh Fit I appreciate y'all concept for real men been here for a while I'm only 19 and still scheming up uh, please get stuff is cold on here Hey man, you no no no. How about you get him on? Yeah, Me- you message him guys and tell him to come on. I mean, Thanks. it is what it is, bro. We ain't, we ain't gonna message him no more. <laughs> like we we hit him up once, he ain't respond. All right, bro, it's fine. You know, I mean, hey, he's probably busy. Uh, Mitch Snacks, uh, twenty bucks. My boy Chico would save these cat bags any day of the week. He a major simp. Oh my god. <laughs> and then ten bucks, bot man. Put some respect on my name, aka Chris. Okay, <laughs> Frieza, Frieza, Frieza. Yeah, that's Frieza. <laughs> no fair. I'm trying to see what the other girls working with in terms of feet. Mm. Who gonna be the oh next WikiFeet girl of the week? Oh, Winner gosh. gets a page made on WikiFeet, but no. I don't know. By I don't know how. No free foot. Picks. Brian Lopez. Uh, okay, they did a study in 2018 in the black community. They compared apples to or uh, apples to apples for men and women. Black women have five times the amount of kids, which shows they are smashing the same dudes. Yeah, Damn. very true. Uh, Noam Baptiste, twenty dollars Canadian super sticker. Thank you so much. And then licking my lips like Trey. <laughs> Yo, I got you, Chris. Fresh looking like Mr. Popo from DBZ. Show them who Mr. Popo is, real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know yeah, you yeah. on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, the, oh, yeah. yo, oh, yeah. nobody is spared. This is hilarious, bro. Yo, yo, Mr. Popo. Okay, I'm not gonna say shit. I want the ladies to just see this. Just, this shit is just, funny. Yo, as fuck. You look like Piccolo, nigga. Popo. Me? You like Piccolo. Oh, uh, 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 yes. <laughs> Oh, I shit. hate y'all. Uh, y'all are so fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I am man. black as fuck, though. I am oh, black as fuck. Man. Yo, man. <laughs> there you go. Shout out, he shout out, shout out. That's some crazy. funny ass shit. And yo, by the way, guys, they're, they're, uh, yo, all love to Steph is Cold, man. Go subscribe to his channel, Steph is Cold. We fuck with anybody in RP space, man. Like I said, we always, we, you know, we always are happy to have our, you know, RP content creators on the show. But hey, man, we can't force nothing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But, uh, hey, man, it is what it is. We're Kermit, growing. Kermit I just wanted frog. to say I support my strong and independent woman selling spicy pics of the, herself to these older men on Patreon money. Doesn't care about political correctness. Okay, Kermit the Frog. And then 10 bucks from Chime. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, th- no, that's really his name. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> and then, uh, Myron, earlier when the blondie asked how big is too big, why didn't you just unapologetically say her? <laughs> and that's Chime. Uh, what the fuck, bro? Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, Respectfully. Okay. Anything? Uh, anything else? No, we good. Okay. okay, ladies. Ladies, who else has a any anybody else have a a question or or want to get get your dreams crashed with what kind of guy? Actually, no. I think we crushed every girl's dream, right? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. I have to say that you absolutely <laughs> did not crush my dreams. Mm -hmm. I did. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. perfect. <laughs> so any, any, you're, you're guys out there. You're guys out there. Just very unlikely. Any last thoughts on the show? I, yes, I do have something. Oh, um, so, so you were saying earlier how men and women are very different because it, for us, it's easier to have access to sex, whereas you guys have to put in the effort. Mm -hmm. um, you get, you know, and women are expecting men to be of like high status, this tall, um, this. It's biological. Um, like, like women, women have like physically. It's built into us. That you know th these things. So, so what I want to ask is, does it ever, does it ever bother you? Does are you happy with the fact that you have to work hard to get a woman's acceptance? That's a really good fucking question. Mm. Because, because um, you, you know, obviously you say you train, right? Yeah. But why do you train? Do you train for yourself? Or do you train because it makes you attractive to a woman? Fantastic question. So, um, and we need to do an episode on this fresh. Actually, this reminds me. So. What I what I've come to realize because we've coached because we're kind of in a in a very unique situation where we talk to hundreds of women right like uh, easily because we bring girls on every day new panel you know between six to twenty girls that we bring on the show um, and we see the female perspective we see the male perspective and one thing I've learned is that a lot of guys don't learn until it's too late that there is an invisible burden of performance they have to get in the gym they got to get their money up they got to become they have to become. To be up, they have to be come to come, lol, right? So that's really what it is if they want, if they want it. But at first, I went to the gym and started training because I want to get girls. But then obviously, it manifested into something much more than that because I'll be honest, if your goal is to just get go to the gym just to get girls, you're never going to be able to see it through because it's so, it's, it, it takes so much diligence and discipline going to the gym, eating correctly, abstaining from alcohol, abstaining from drugs. You know, I, I'm natural, you know, so I've never done a, a you know, a performance enhancing drug in my life. So, um, it, it evolved into much more than that. But what I would say is this. When guys come to that realization that women are, how do I say this? They're selective. They, selective. And not only that, women love opportunistically. And I know that sounds fucked up to say it like that, but women do love opportunistically. A man has to rise to a certain occasion mm -hmm. before she can take him seriously and respect him. Yeah, because, like what got your attention. Exactly, exactly. So he has to, he has to meet a bunch of metrics to, to get the woman so when guys find this find this out a lot of guys get rage right rp rages we <laughs> did we define it here on this side of the internet which i won't get into but a lot of guys get mad about it because they've been told the disney fairy tale like hey there's a girl out there for you don't worry just be patient remember how i told you before that you know we can tell women that don't worry there'll be a guy there for you <laughs> we can't tell men that because if you tell the lion hey don't worry that gazelle will come by you'll be able to eat he's gonna starve and die so guys have to get out there and get it. You can't wait for it to come. Mm -hmm. So men and women, we, we have totally opposing strategies for attracting the yeah. opposite gender. We're very different. So a, a lot of guys, when they find out that they have to become, some of them do get angry and mad. And that's a big part of what we do with our coaching is we let guys know <laughs> this is the reality that you're in. You need to accept it. Yeah. So 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 you've accepted it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so I, it, doesn't, it doesn't upset you that like... If you were to lose your your fame, like let's say, like I don't know, like Twitch, whatever you're streaming, the, the platforms just completely I got deleted more everything. girls, far more. I got far more girls before we blew up on YouTube. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like yeah. if, if everything that you have now that gives you status was taken away, mm -hmm. like w you wouldn't be like upset about it because you've just accepted that, like oh, like I have to, I just have to work for it again. Like you know, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, upset I'd, you. I'd obviously be upset about it because we worked really hard to get here. Mm -hmm. But uh, the beauty is that like. When you've done it once, you could do it again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, mm -hmm. so th that's fine. And then, as far as like, uh, because prior to this, like, we we j this YouTube channel, we've only had it for about a year. Yeah. So we we came from uh, professional successful. careers prior to this. Mm -hmm. So we 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 were getting way more girls. To be honest, it's kind of funny. This podcast, <laughs> we've uh, gotten less girls from being on the show now, even with the status and the more money and everything, because we work so much now. Mm -hmm. So we don't have the time to like go out on dates and everything. Like me and him used to go out on double dates and go out with girls. Three nights, four nights, five nights a week Facts. easily before the podcast. But that was when we had regular jobs and everything. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. So, I, I mean, we would just make it happen again. We'd be pissed. I ain't going to cap. We're not going to be yeah, like, yeah. oh, yeah, it's okay. But, like, we, we would just make it happen again. <laughs> but, see, we've learned the skills even before the fame and stuff like that. So, that if we need to get girls, like, for example, let's say we want to go on a date. We know how to get girls on a date. For example, we know how to conduct a date. Like, for example, where to go, how to set up venues, how to have a great time. So, we naturally know the skills to... Uh, how to say this um, acquire women yeah that being said if start from square one 
it's the same thing. You build back up, but we have the skill set already. It actually helps when you don't like when they don't know who we are, because like yeah, you know, we get uh, get hit with the you guys are toxic and you guys are assholes and you teach men how to be womanizers and misogyny. you talk shit to women and misogyny. But it, real talk, we have a lot of female followers that watch your shit. And they're like, yo. More women need to watch you guys. They'd yeah. get married or they'd be able to like get a, a, a boyfriend to take them better seriously. Better wives, better husband. Because we tell uh, girls how to detect fuck boys, how to detect guys yeah. that are not going to take you serious. Yo, real talk. <laughs> a girl actually... They just trying to spin you. <clears throat> no, Thanks. no. Real talk, right? Go on, see. What do you do for a living? I don't say podcast. I don't, I don't want to find out what I do. I'll be like, yo, I'm a drug dealer. Oh, my I get, God. No, no, hold on. I give content daily to people. That's the drug. Hey, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Like what? No you're what? lying. No so, uh, <laughs> so yeah. So that that's 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 that. But that's a good question. Yeah, yeah. A lot of guys experience rage when they find out the truth that they have to become before anything. Mm. Because a lot of guys are lied and told, "No, mm. just be a nice guy. Mm. You know, good boy. Don't worry about it. She'll she'll come around. She'll accept mm -hmm. you. Whatever." And then, no, nah, it doesn't work. Nice guys never finish finish uh, first ever. Neither do nice girls. Mm. I would argue that nice girls definitely finish first. They, what is I would say they first? get taken advantage of some sometimes, but sometimes, they, but they choose the wrong guy that that will do that to them. Speaking mm. of how about your guys? Right guy. Oh, hey, the shout out to our boy Breezy Magic Man. Uh, as a high value guy, uh, man, I just want ugly women. They're much easier to deal with. So all the women on the podcast, holla at me. Just kidding. Good show. This is like a uh, he's just, he just I'm suck his shit, guys. He's a, yeah, he's a celebrity magician. Sure. He's a friend of ours out there in yeah, Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> yeah, he got his shit together. Blue check and all that. Fuck yeah. you, asshole. Right. Show, <laughs> I'm showing us on our show. Hide his insert. Hide his shit, man. Yeah, okay. hide his shit. Hide his shit. Don't show the girls his stuff. Okay, so ladies, uh, any last thoughts on the show? Hit it. Yes. Hit it. Love it. How was it? Oh, um, I actually have kind of like a question. Yeah, sure. So um, it goes um, kind of about like, okay, so who do you think has a stronger mind in manipulation? The man or the woman? Women. Women. Yeah, women. Okay, well, yeah, that, that's, that, that's right. what By I was going to argue. Right. Yeah, Next. Like, I believe that, like, <laughs> like, for example, like, men, like, what she was saying, like, you went to the gym because you wanted to, like, look good yeah. for girls. Yeah. Like, at the Originally, end of the day, yeah. like, the end of the day, it always comes down to a female, like. Well, well, think about it. I asked you guys earlier, <laughs> have you ever been on a date with a man that you had zero intention of having sex with? And all of you said yes, right? Mm -hmm. So. Let's ask the guys. Have any of you guys been on a date with a woman you had zero uh, zero intention of having sex with? Nope. Hell no. How do you know you're gonna fuck him if like you don't like him yet? Because if we but, take you no, out, no, I would agree with you on that though. Like I, like bro, we're fucking grown. Like Netflix and chill means like yo, we about to fuck. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but but that's what I'm trying to say. That that's that that shows the big difference between men and women. Like if a man goes out with you, he's trying to have sex. A woman, when she's going out with you, she's trying to feel it out. If she has sex with you, it's irrelevant because she's still got a date and attention out of you. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. We have different yeah. goals. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so like a girl still wins because she got taken out on a date, whether she decides to fuck him or not. That's Men so don't true. operate that. I don't feel like you win when you get a date. Like, what the fuck is a date? We get that shit so often. I don't think y'all get that. Like, when we go outside, we get hollered at. You go to the gas station, you get hollered at. You yeah. almost become numb to that. Okay. So, it's not something that is exciting anymore if it happens to you every day. 10 times a day it's like but, oh but, what but, the fuck but it, it doesn't matter the fact is is that you still entertain men that you have zero intention of having sex with and going out with them men don't operate like that is what i'm trying to say like yeah women like men, use men a lot whether it's for yeah. food whether it's for a bill whether it's just for a night out and, and let me bring that full circle that's what Maybe i mean when i say section like, like that's what i and that i'm um, the reason why i use that example is that women are far better manipulators uh, mm -hmm. uh at, at uh, manipulating the opposite gender than men are because we're already percent. physically stronger than you guys. So women are more socially calibrated yeah, than guys. They're able to read the room better. They're able to finesse guys. How many girls do we know that have guys that buy them bags or take them on trips or whatever and they don't even fuck them? <laughs> girls like being <laughs> finessing dudes all day. Yo, I met being finessing dudes all day. Like, Yo, I met a chick it's uh, a skill. two days ago, right? Yeah. She's like, oh, I just it's went to right. um, Mykonos uh, for a week. I was like, oh, bet. Who would you go with? Oh, my friend. I was like, your friend? It was a guy or girl. It was, it was a guy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you smash? She's like, no. I'm like, what, bro? Dude took her to a trip to Mykonos. What? A full week, then smash. I'm like, bro, damn. you tripping? Damn, he's stupid. He I'm That's like, damn. That's and, wild. And, that, and, that, boy. and that happens. And that happens. So <laughs> like, so th like, to see it. It, uh, women. I would say, Yo. I would argue what? that women are running laps around most guys. Think about it. Are there any YouTube channels out there teaching women how to get laid? Nope. <laughs> but there's a bunch of YouTube channels Coming out there teaching you guys how to get laid. We're one of them, and there's 6,000, almost 7,000 guys in here watching right now. Why do you think so? Gang, gang. <laughs> <laughs>
Not saying that the guys in here that, that can't get laid or something like that, but a lot of guys, the majority of men, have an issue with getting girls. It's really tough for guys. It's not tough for you guys to get men, though. It's so easy for women to get men that y'all play games with it. Okay, let me see how many guys could buy me drinks. Let me see how many guys could buy me back. Let's see how many guys, whatever. And I see you're making that face. You might not do that, but a lot of women do. Ain't Remember, just because you don't do it doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't happen. I mean, mm, the majority of women in Miami are like that. Yeah, they be finessing. Bro, I be seeing it in my. Shit's boring. You can't finesse a finesser. Badass yeah. bitches, bro, with the nails, the lashes, the nice bags, the red bottoms. What are you doing? Oh, my man, take care of me. Which one? Oh, the one for Sunday. There you go. <laughs> That's why you don't have a That's facts. Voice. That's facts. Oh uh, what was that? You're saying what? Lemon. Go ahead, just say it. <laughs> say, it. Sick. say it. Say it. I have short nails, that's why I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, okay, all right, fair <laughs> enough. Okay, um, anything else? Uh, any other questions or anything like that? No? Okay. Cool. So, last thoughts on the Disagreements, show. Disagreements, you hate us, love hate us. It, love it, how was the show? Was it good? She like, great. fuck y'all. Fuck you guys yeah. are miso mis misogynistic assholes. <laughs> and, yes. And everything you say is cap. And, no, I love it here. Y'all always lit. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I would just like a little more facts and statistics rather than just opinions when it comes here to I, I will i will you know time. hold on we, we could pull out everything right now right i know you can but, but that'll you know, be like, boring about the conversation just like make it a little more interesting by like bringing some actual facts no, but, no you I, did a few times but well, other what than that we, it was just like i think this what, I think what was the thing that wasn't factual that, that you have contention with it was a lot of opinion from both of you. Okay, what and was... And all of us too, you know? I'm what, just saying, like, next time, like... What part about our stuff was... What's one opinion? Or yeah, what's opinion that was you... Disagree? Everything that we were conversating well, what's about. Everything. Was, everything. What's opinions. everything? Chris, you can, you can pull up the links, bro, because I yeah, feel sure, like... No dude, <laughs> what part about we, what we say was opinionated? Everything? <laughs> Every single thing? Even the questions we asked you, yeah, it was your opinion, mostly. No, right. no, no. All right, all right. Ready? I mean, some stuff is opinionated, yeah, but yeah. a lot of it, a lot of it was the opinion is right. based on facts. Yeah, there everything you, go. you see here, there you go. So if you check out on on YouTube, right, we have links <laughs> about unhappy woman, you know, whatever dating, OKC. You have all these facts here. So yeah, it's actually, it's actually shit. no, actually, it's uh, a waist gap. Yeah, so we on. have it. these are juicy sexual, you know, you know, grape, not not the R word as you mentioned earlier, Miss Princess <laughs> Disney yeah. fairy tale. The only reason we don't bring it out is because it would be a boring show if we brought all this. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but we do, boring. but we do have we all have these links right here there, that yeah. prove everything, and we actually have it uh, this uh, delineated. Yeah, so we got divorce here, right? So divorce, wage right. gap, wage gap. So each thing in brackets <laughs> discusses See? the myth and or the stat that we're talking about. So, um. Yeah, so, so yeah, but I'm I mean, shook. I'm still trying I to. I didn't know this man. existed. Yeah, yeah we, man, yeah. we gathered all the but, all the statistics there. So, because people have tried to say, "Oh, I want to fact check y'all." Cool. Here are the links. There are links, and they're like, "Oh shit," and yeah. So, what did we say? I'm just confused. What did we say that was like opinionated or not true? Or? Please tell us. Please tell us. I mean, I, you want me to pull an example right now? Yeah, please. sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Please. I don't know, like, we asked you things about, like, what kind of women you like. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. I mean, that's that's okay. a personal preference, but that exactly. was based on but that was based on the factuality that a woman that has a past is a, is, is not a good candidate for marriage, which we, we showed that link there as well. Yeah. That the, the more sexual partners a woman has, the higher her propensity to initiate a divorce and or uh, cheat. The number goes up significantly. The percentage goes up after 10. After 10, it goes up significantly, and then it spikes again after 5. It spikes at 5, and then it goes up again significantly after 10. Well, okay. okay. You got your hand next? Or? There's a link for everything. I could literally Google that racism is real, and there's a link that is going to support it. So I just... I, I, well, I no, mean, these are actually like bona fide yeah. studies. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah these yeah. are not just like, okay. like stupid search. links. Yeah. Like they're they're okay. bona fide studies. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just saying. Um, You're saying what? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that what I just said was true. There's a link for everything. But if you guys are saying th these are like certified studies, they're bona fide yeah. studies. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, man. I mean, we just. We just report the facts, man. <laughs> facts machine. Like we're not just saying this to talk, like talk shit. Like yo, we. No, we... I mean I like it. I'm not gonna lie. I like hearing you guys' opinions because it's like it's just different. Like I don't think that way. So it's well, you're it's, a woman. It's yeah. different to hear how you guys like mm -hmm. think. I like it. But uh, it is kind of like for the ladies, real fast. Have any of you heard opinions like this before from men before? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, <laughs> okay, I that sounds like a no, and that's definitely <laughs> a no. Yes. Okay, so that's a no for you two. Yeah, my friends are. Okay, and you're in the military, so this was probably all fairly common. Yeah. All right, <laughs> uh, but just maybe we had to elaborate on some things. And you've heard it. Well, you're for are your parents from Peru. Yes. Are your parents still together? No. Did you hear this from your dad? No. Brothers? No, actually, my my daughter's father. He's okay. much older than me, so okay. we have these discussions all the time. Okay, all right, interesting. All right, and Ooh. then you being in Miami, you learned I, it the hard I way. I have a lot of homies. Like, I'm um, I'm a nigga, so. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness! Okay. Yeah, that, they say that's why I'm single. Like dead ass. I hear that shit on a daily basis. It'd be like. Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's probably a part get, of the reason. I'm still getting money out here. Oh. All right. Bitch, and y'all my you? customers too. Yeah. What was the question? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Chris? Stupid. All right. What was the question? Final, final, final thoughts on the show. On the show like uh, opinions, disagreements, hate us, love us. Uh, if you hate us, I it's love fine. The show it was a good show. You know, entertaining. I know. T- <laughs> tough to hear sometimes, but assholes. It was a nice show. All right. Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> <It's green. laughs> yeah. Um. Show's interesting. I mean, I, I watched like a couple like TikToks about you guys just to see like what was it what oh, it was oh, about. Shit. TikTok, TikTok. TikTok. TikTok hates us. <laughs> Damn. Well, I mean, I just saw like <laughs> clips or whatever. I know TikTok hates you guys. Um so I was trying to like oh. prepare myself because I consider myself a feminist. Um, but I do understand the points that you guys are making. I didn't want to like end this with like arguing back and forth. I just wanted well, to Well don't understand. forget that feminism was was originally made to to make uh, to you know to make both parties equal. equal so there's nothing wrong with being a feminist yeah uh, yeah yeah it's it's i think the uh the extreme feminist it's the ex- yeah it's the extremist mm-hmm. feminist that kind of fucked it up so like when i, I hear a woman say i'm a feminist i don't like go oh fuck you i hate you <laughs> because real talk if you de- if you look up the definition of a feminist it's someone that wants equality for both genders mm-hmm. right. yeah you know what i'm saying so hey man i don't and to me you seem pretty pragmatic and yeah, honest, yeah. like you I know mean, what i'm saying for, down uh, earth yeah for uh feminists like you're very chill very you know yeah you know, you're not an extremist you're not yeah. one of these like feminazis you know don't what I'm talk saying? Beside <laughs> me. it's just because I, I try to like like i ran into guys that like think the way that you guys do but i've never actually been able to sit down with them and talk to them so that's why i was like, just trying to like no, that's cool. You ask really good mm-hmm. questions. Yeah. You ask really, really good questions. Good that's discussion. Good. <laughs> I'm sure the people in the chat love you. So, yeah. And, and here's the thing. I have no problem with, like, giving a male perspective. It's just that uh, I, it kind of sucks because women never get to see this side of guys, this honest side, because a lot of guys are scared. Because if they talk like this, what's, what's going to well, happen? Guys, they're going to they're gonna get, they're gonna lose their job. Yeah, they ain't hanging no around box. guys like that. Girls hanging around Could you imagine? Like girls. I, I, t- uh, I mean, if me and you are on a first date, right? Me and you, hypoth- hypothetically. <laughs> and I told you this shit. You'd be like, what the fuck? I'm leaving. Should this guy's an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys can't talk like this. Like, they can't. They got to lie. Oh, I love your career. And <laughs> they got a sugar cup. Like, you know, I need a strong and independent <laughs> woman. You know what I'm saying? They're going to say, oh, <laughs> oh, shout shit. Shout out to uh, Roland. Like, Roland. Oh, I'd actually be Googling that. Rush. You would be what? Googling what? I'd be Googling whatever oh. you're trying to say. Yeah. You'd no. be Googling. Oh, okay. You, you, you would see if it's like <laughs> a part of a lie. Roland Tomasi in the chat. Chris getting ready to eject. Okay. <laughs> Bam. Hey, yo, I shout out to Shout out to Roll Tomasi, guys. Go yeah. get a copy of the rest. What about you? Last thoughts on the show. Uh, it's a vibe. I definitely like your production value, I'll be honest with you. But oh, thanks. But it feels like it's something Merch. I'd watch in like a Cody Co. video, like roasting okay. you, like Curtis Connor, Cody Co., like that area of commentary YouTube. Fuck he Curtis did. Connor. You did. Fuck Curtis Connor? Yes. yes. Yeah, he made a video on us, actually. You know, I TikToks. thought I recognized you oh, guys. Yeah. God. That makes sense. And you know sense. what? We she passed the mid views. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. What about you? Um. Well, I actually enjoyed. Um. Well, foremost, meeting everyone here, right? And uh, also sharing knowledge. Uh, I disagree on a lot of things, but I also agree on a lot of things as well. Okay. Um, one thing I do uh, wish is I wish like maybe um, when we, <clears throat> when all these questions arise, maybe when we responded, we went based on experience and on why we responded that way. So then you can understand because when certain questions were being asked, okay, uh, we answered and then you came and, you know, you gave us your statistics. But we were just responding off based on experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. So that's but, just, that's just, no, I get that. I get that, you know. But remember, your experience doesn't necessarily make it reflect true. reality. I mean, your experience no, is your but experience. It, it, but it but... defends my response. Yes, it does <laughs> in a way. However, generally speaking, that might be an exception. You know, it's... It's like going to school be. and be like, you know what? Even even though I don't understand what the teacher is saying, should I, you know, agree disagree with him? Like, no. Like, just ask questions. If you don't know, just you know, just do your research and come back later on. You know, but Chris is a teacher. Yeah, in case some of y'all didn't know that, <laughs> he, he likes to remind everyone that he was a former teacher. Yes, I was. But yeah, Not no, no, no of course. I mean, obviously, all you have is your experience, right? So to rely on. So obviously, I'm. You know, you guys aren't gonna come and be like, all right, I brought my notes. I'm ready to fucking go, asshole. And I get it. <laughs> but we're just giving you guys. The male perspective. Like, you guys give us your response, and we're giving you, okay, well, here's the unfiltered male response thought on this that you've probably never heard before. Or if you did, it was probably watered down because they didn't want to get fired or called an asshole or whatever. Because a lot of guys are scared of, like, women, like, you know, canceling them, bro. Like, real talk. You know, yeah. we live in a believe-all-women society, so it's dangerous times for guys. Misogyny. Misogyny. Uh, any other... Uh, no, for real, though? Like, yep. okay. you get canceled quick. Yeah, so, bro. Like, we, we had... Pff, Man, I don't even yeah, want to get into it. Crazy. That's what I think. Myron Spicolo, the Mr. Popo and Piccolo show. Thank you very much, Yo, bro, Mr. Popo bring and Piccolo. Up Piccolo. Oh, yeah, bring, bring it up, bring it up. Bring it up. Uh, Myron is not safe either. He looks like a green Cyberman. The lines on his head <laughs> represent the hair he has left. <laughs> oh, oh, it, no, Cyberman. Oh. Pull it up, pull it up. Cyberman, yeah, that's funny. Oh, God. Say, yo, <laughs> we got Piccolo here. That's the G. No, that's, no, no. that's the boss the vein, right the there. Veins. Oh we pop, we pop yeah, yeah, yeah. The veins. The yeah. ah, veins. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. You guys are broken. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's you great. So no one is no one is above getting roasted on the show from the chat. Uh, uh, Frieza, Mr. Nobody's Popo, safe. and Myron is Mr. Burns. Okay. Uh, naughty girl, samurai, baby, blondie, y'all sexy as fuck. So trust if cross paths with y'all, I'd shoot my shot. Okay. Okay. And then twice. Um, and then Jabrizi, uh, he said that twice, twice just to yep. let y'all know that you guys are ugly on a panel. <laughs> and then Try twenty bucks. Where the uh, Try is that Turkey? Uh, that might be Turkey. Cool. Nothing. Uh, Dolomite seventeen thirty eight to, to the, the milf on the left seventeen thirty eight. Okay. Don't to the milf on the left. A lot of younger guys prefer older women because younger women are terrible nowadays. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's not a MILF. Uh, she's not a mom, man. She, yeah. Are you? No, no. She is a mom. She's a, uh, a dog. Cougar. I'm a dog mom. Yeah, she's dog, a dog mom. She's a yeah. cougar. Yeah. A cougar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question from Myron. Is martial arts a good substitute for the gym? I struggle with going to the gym consistently, but I enjoy mu Muay Thai a whole lot better. Uh, it cool. depends if your goal is, uh, is body composition improvement. If your goal is body uh, composition improvement, man, unfortunately, martial arts will not get you there. Uh, All right. Okay. Cool. Guys, um, we got a show uh, probably tomorrow. 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 7 special p.m. Guests. Uh, special guests. And uh, this whole week, we have some special guests on the show. So Yeah, we got some Look things behind the, so uh, line, uh, behind the behind scenes that we got going on for you guys. So thank you so much for the support, man. We might have a show tomorrow. If we do, it'll be at 7 p.m. It'll be with a, a special somebody. Pause. A rapper. <laughs> uh, a rapper. Another musician, man. Oh, I'll be here. Yeah, okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. We'll catch you uh, tomorrow at 7 p.m. Potentially, if not, then we got a late night show at 10. Peace. Peace. All the night.